following is a presentation of Radio Plus Sports. Radio Plus Sports. And here's Schreiner going to take a shot downfield. He's got his receiver hauled in by Tyler Brandner to the end zone. Touchdown, Fondowak. Seeing some defensive pressure here. Brings the man in motion. It's a QB keeper. He gets by two defenders. He's to the midfield, and he is off to the races. 20, 10, touchdown, Ledgers. Wow, can Bauer go 70 yards to the end zone on the QB keeper. Second quarter, shot down, gets the handoff, 25, 20 to the 15, weaving to the 10, 5, touchdown. Wow, everybody knows he's getting the ball. Johnson in the slot, Mullins behind him. Johnson comes in motion, they fake it to him. There they go to Mullins, far side, he hauls it in. Mullins to the 20, to the 10, to the 5, touchdown, Keldon Mullins. First down and 10 from the 25-yard line. Here's Bauer, play fake to Koenigs. Bauer, rainbowing left side, that's hauled in and caught by the Ledgers, spinning his way past one defender, still on his feet, it springs number 22, John Kuhn. He goes into the end zone, touchdown Ledgers. Games video streaming live at radioplusinfo.com. That's right, watch the biggest games live too. Up the middle, breaks the tackle, near side 40. 30, got a blocker out ahead at the 20. 10, 5, dives, touchdown! Tanner Dulski, 56 yards to the house! Edward Jones Representatives in Fond du Lac, Integrity Saw and Tool, Our Chiropractic, Fondy Family Dental, Baker Cheese. Right Way Home Improvement, Quest Interiors, Addison Jones Real Estate, Holiday Automotive, Taco Bell, Bristol Morgan Bank, Coal Oil and Propane, Pioneer Pit Stop, Marco Tax Service, Pizza Ranch, the National Exchange Bank and Trust, Marine Park Technical College, Silica for your home, Raderman Stone and Landscape, Dufresne Moving and Storage, Winfield Homes, Everson Law Office, Bob's Pizza, AirTech, Winnebago Lutheran Academy, Music Sheet Metal, Scotty's Auto Works, St. Mary Springs Academy, Canberra Casino, Fond du Lac Credit Union, Hopper's Silk Screen and All-Star Trophy, New Medical Center, New Thig Industries, Penal Construction, Lens Truck Center, Fox Valley Savings, American Family Insurance Agent Brad Tagliapetra, BCI Burke, Marion University, Into the Woods Wellness, Smith Builders. Today's game is also presented by International Paper and Will Sport. Lighting and control systems made in Fond du Lac. Let's go live to the Radio Plus Sports broadcast booth. And good evening, everybody, and welcome to High School Football on Radio Plus Video Sports. We are broadcasting tonight's game from Hart Park in Wauwatosa. It's WIAA Division I Level Three football playoff action. The five seed, the Fond du Lac Cardinals, behind us warming up. They take on the two seed, the Hilltoppers of Marquette. This is your Integrity Saw and Tool pregame show. My name is Nick Rush. Kerry Longry is our video engineer tonight. Jimmy running camera. Got Big Nate up there, Ron Lindgren. We've got Cameron, got a whole cast and crew ready for you in this WIAA Level 3 state quarterfinal. Winner of this game takes on the winner of Nina and Kimberly being played in Kimberly tonight. And if Fond du Lac wins, they would have a rematch with one of those two teams that they both lost to again a little bit earlier this season. So who is Milwaukee Marquette? Well, they come from the Greater Metro Conference, a team that can throw it, they can pass it, they can play good defense, giving up just under nine a game. This is a much different team than Fond du Lac is used to playing in the first two rounds of the WIAA playoffs. Plenty more of the integrity saw into a pregame show. Your play of the game is coming up. Head coach Sam Pluker for the Fond du Lac Cardinals and more. We're back to this field. Hart Park in Wauwatosa next on Radio Plus Video Sports. I would say the best part about our relationship with Bristol Morgan is the fact that they, they are local and they actually are there when we need them to be. Uh, they're very responsive and they do a great job for us. So we keep coming back. I mean, you need a lending partner that's going to, to be there when you need them. We've had a lot of growth over the last 15 years and specifically in the last five. Bristol Morgan has always been here to, to help us uh, find our way to that next level.
Planning to build? Whether it's a new home, remodel, or commercial project, you need a committed team that's dedicated to bringing your visions to reality. You need Pino. After all, we've been doing it for over 45 years. To start your next project, go to www.rapinno.com and you'll learn about the Pino difference. Pino, build better for future generations. Are you unsure of what career path you want to take? Musa Sheet Metal is looking for motivated individuals to join their highly regarded apprenticeship program. Throughout the program, you'll learn the skills to be able to run your own job site. A career at Musa Sheet Metal is a chance to join a driven team working together to design and build products to help build communities. Learn more at musasheetmetal.com. That's musasheetmetal.com. Build products that build communities. Apply at musasheetmetal.com. Today's game is brought to you by Edward Jones and these area Edward Jones financial advisors. Robert Bruce, located at 976 East Johnson Street. Patrick Ellistad, located at 560 Fond du Lac Avenue. Matt Moses, located at 68 North Main Street. And Jeff Wills, located at 649 Fond du Lac Avenue. Good luck to all athletes in today's game. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Commonwealth Construction Corporation, your trusted partner for any residential and commercial construction needs. From renovations and additions to new builds and remodeling, they've got you covered when it comes to projects of all complexities and sizes. With a dedicated team of professionals and a commitment to excellence, Commonwealth Construction can bring your vision to life with precision and expertise. Commonwealth Construction. Visit CommonwealthCO.net today. That's CommonwealthCO.net. Good luck to all athletes from Commonwealth Construction. Welcome back to Hart Park in Wauwatosa. This is WIAA Division One Level 3 football action. Nick Rush, your integrity saw and tool. Pre-game show continues on our video platform tonight. The Fond du Lac Cardinals getting set to take on the Hilltoppers of Milwaukee Marquette. Fond a team that's won six out of the last seven games and a team that's really peaking at the right time, playing great football. Remember, remember this, this Fond team started 0-4, and they have rattled off six out of the last seven to get to six and five on uh week 141 yards and a touchdown round one 13 out of 17 a buck 35 and two touchdowns Novotny is a guy that we're gonna call a lot here tonight he's got a total of four touchdowns last week combined with a couple of final week of the regular season so this Milwaukee Marquette team they're playing at the right time as well when this game takes on the winner of Nina and Kimberly which is taking place again up in Kimberly as well here tonight plenty more of the integrity sound tool pregame show it continues on radio plus video sports as we are going to bring you our lens truck center play of the game here tonight lens truck center of course specializing in numerous trucks and opportunities for people again our lens truck center play of the game is on now from last week's win by the Fond du Lac Cardinals over De Pere. enjoy your lens truck center play of tonight's game Hi, this is Danny and Heather with AirTech Heating. At AirTech, our motto is honesty, integrity, and quality craftsmanship. When it comes to your home, you want the person working on your equipment to be upfront and tell you what you need, but also what you don't need. We deliver whatever it takes service to take care of you. Our technicians are Nate certified, meaning they are the most highly trained in the industry to be servicing your equipment. If you're stuck with a broken furnace or air conditioner, call our team at AirTech Heating at 924-6742.
Fond du Lac Cardinals welcome the Redbirds of De Pere in a level two a WIAA Division I football game to Cardinal Stadium, National Exchange, Bank and Trust Field on Friday night. Fond du Lac jumped up right before the half, 21 to seven on Dolsky's nine yard touchdown run. In the level two now, Fond du Lac knocking on the door, Wildcat to Dolsky. Here comes Tanner Dolsky. He's got the end around into the end zone. I am him. Touchdown, Dolsky. Fond du Lac went on to win the football game 42-21, getting back to level three of the WIAA playoffs for the first time since 2018. If you want a truck for an SQV, go to land so you like what you see. Hundreds of trucks all on one lot. If you want a truck, it's what we got. Lance Truck. Lance Truck. We got the trucks at Lance Truck. We got the trucks. Here at International Paper, I've gotten much more experience than I have elsewhere. I've seen more in the field than I have anywhere else. I started from the bottom and I've worked my way up. The people's will make it great. Nobody wants to see anybody fail. You want a job to where you can display your skills, they can be valued, you can move forward based off your own ability and your ability to learn more. That's IP. Winfield Homes is a locally owned custom home building company of over 25 years that prides itself on great service, high quality, and providing the best building experience possible. Owners Jim Boudry and Jason Zellner are there for you every step of the way to ensure that your new home is built just the way you've dreamed it to be. With the same passion that they have for their clients' homes, Jim and Jason are proud supporters of and are personally involved in youth sports programs and are truly committed to their success. Winfield Homes wishes you all the best of luck this season. Wouldn't it be nice to get rewarded for everyday purchases? We agree. With Fond du Lac Credit Union's You Choose Rewards credit card, you'll earn one point for every dollar spent. And when you're ready, you can redeem your points for things like cash back, travel, merchandise, and more. Plus, for a limited time only, you can earn 1,500 bonus points on us just by using your card. So if you're ready for a card that rewards you, select Fond du Lac Credit Union's You Choose Rewards credit card. Apply online today or stop in. We are local after. People have a reluctance to go see the dentist. It's an easy thing to put off or avoid altogether. Until now. Now there's Fondy Family Dental. Hey, it's Dr. Chad from Fondy Family Dental. My team makes your visit to the dentist a little more fun. We'll make you smile before, after, and yep, even during your visit. Allow our team to introduce you to our membership plan. It's an alternative to using dental insurance. Fondy Family Dental at the entrance of Lakeside Park, corner of Scott and Main, Fond du Lac, or at FondyFamilyDental.com. That's FondyFamilyDental.com. It's that time of year to look out for the deer. A meeting with one of our furry friends could cost you a lot of dough. If you're involved in a deer dent, ding, or disaster, dial Dreyer Collision Concepts. North Main Street next to Grime Gorilla Car Wash. Mobile estimating, vehicle restoration, auto collision repair, custom painting, and yes, free estimates. 924-4100. Drive safe from Dreyer Collision Concepts. Welcome back into your Integrity Saw and Tool pregame show on Radio Plus Video Sports. Thanks to Lens Truck Center, our play of the game just moments ago. Reminder that Lens Truck Center has our play of the game each and every week from Fond du Lac and from Springs. Go to our website and vote for your favorite play of the game and play of the year. We'll announce that play of the year coming up at the end of the high school football season. Pretty cool feature again thanks to Brad Lenz at Lenz Truck Center. He's actually doing the color commentary for the Springs game at Kiwani tonight and uh, we'll keep an ear and eye on that game as well. That's also video streamed at our website. Got that link up there for two, uh, for, for, for you at our website and we've got Randolph covered tonight. We've got Oakfield eight-man football on the radio covered. Got teams, got guys all over the place. Special thanks to Kerry Longry who organizes this whole mad dash of playoff action here in level three of the playoffs. So the winner of this game takes on the winner of Kimberly and Nina. Nina dumped Chippewa Falls last Friday, 21-0. Kimberly, they beat Stevens Point 35-18 to after the papermakers barely got by Appleton North in a 10-7 defensive affair. Two weeks ago, Hamilton, Verona, they're still alive in Division One. as is Muskego, and a team that Fond du Lac lost to earlier this year 
in Franklin. Division 2, Wanakee and New Richmond. They're doing battle tonight. Kakana, the lone loss for Kakana was against Fond du Lac earlier this season. We know that. Kakana takes on Cedarburg tonight. Slinger battles Sun Prairie East. Kettle Moraine battles Badger. Rice Lake and Onalaska hookup. Division 3, Mount Hora Barneveld and Notre Dame. Division 3, Grafton and Menasha, Monroe and Stilton. Baldwin, Woodville, Somerset, Lodi, Xavier, Lakeside Lutheran, Catholic Memorial, Two Rivers, and Luxembourg Casco in Division 4. St. Croix Falls, Northwestern, along with Wittenberg, Burnhamwood, and Wrightstown, Aquinas, and Columbus. They hook up in Division 5. Lake Country Lutheran, a team that squeaked by Mayville last Friday night. They take on Horicon Houstisford that beat Lamira in overtime. Division 6, Grantsburg and Cameron hook up Auburndale and Stratford, Kiwani and Springs that we mentioned, Darlington and Lancaster, they hook up as well. And finally, in Division 7, Reedsville and Randolph, Cashton, Bangor, Edgar, Boyceville, Potosi, Cassville, and also Blackhawk, Warren, Illinois uh, do battle. So a lot of games going on around the state of Wisconsin for Level 3, and after Level 3, we go to Level 4 in the state semis. After that, it's state at Camp Randall Stadium in Madison. Reminder, the email address is nick at radioplusinfo.com. We'll do our Radio Plus traditional roll call. Uh, that's coming up. Got a bunch of viewers watching already. So glad you're along here tonight on this not windy, but a uh, little rainy, a little misty out there right now down in Watosa at Hart Park, again in Tosa. Marquette ranked number uh, number nine in the state as uh, they ended the regular season. And uh, the Fond du Lac Cardinals going, of course, unranked. Fondi, a team that averages just under 30 a game, 109 of that through the air, and 218 on the ground. Marquette, a team that averages 10 more than that, almost 40 a game, passing 154, rushing 170. So, yeah, they're pretty evenly balanced, and we'll see that here tonight on your screen. Last time Marquette went to level three was 2019, and uh, they uh, won a Division I state championship back in 2009. Meanwhile, the Fond du Lac Cardinals, their last trip to level three was 2018. They beat Sun Prairie East before losing to Kimberly at UW Oshkosh that same year. Uh, Kimberly went for it in overtime. They went for two and knocked Fond du Lac out. Don't want to remind you of that, but I, I just did. This is Fondy's 11th trip to level three of the playoffs. All right, a break, and we're coming back with head coach Sam Pluker for the Fond du Lac Cardinals next on Radio Plus Video Sports. Hang on. Welcome back into the Integrity Selling Tool pregame show. It's on Radio Plus Video Sports. Time once again for the Fondy Family Dental Coaches Smile segment. We have an opportunity each and every week to sit down with the Fond du Lac head coach, Sam Pluker. Sam, thanks for the time week in and week out. Third level of the playoffs. How are you today? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Doing fine. Fond du Lac Cardinals making a run in the WIAA playoffs. And you have another tough customer in Milwaukee Marquette University on Friday night, but before that, uh, a, a nice win for the Cardinals. You were up by uh, a couple of scores at the half, Sam, last week, Friday night against the Pier. Talk about what you guys saw on tape to go into the Marquette game. Yeah, I think uh, after the first drive, we controlled the game. Uh, we were able to stop their running game and run the football, and that's been our identity or the hopes of, of what we'd like to be our identity of the program. Um, I thought the guys played really hard, and, and at the end of the day, our seniors went out and made plays. Um, and when your best players are bought into everything that's going on and, and out there making plays and taking control of the game, it makes coaching a lot easier. Fond du Lac scoring that 42-21 to victory again over De Pere over the uh, last Friday night in Level 2 of the WIAA playoffs. You've won six out of the last seven here. Sam, we, we talked about this after after the game. Uh, you got close against North. You got close against Kimberly. And that Kakana win was a signature win to kind of propel you guys into playing really with, with anybody. And that's holding serve this time in Level 3 now, isn't it? Yeah, that's this is a this could be a little bit different week um, than the past two. This is a really really good football team, but the guys have confidence, and like you said, the, the being able to play with Appleton North and Kimberly and Nina, and we know those are three of the top teams in the state always, and we feel like we can play at that level now. In those games, we're a player too short of of finishing, and really the emphasis this week is making sure that we are a hundred percent every play, and we're really mastering the details because uh, those games really come down to two or three things, and whether or not uh, we're the ones making those big plays or they are is going to really determine the outcome of the game. 
Milwaukee Marquette, a team that is nine and two on the season. Coach, a team that beat Bayport forty-two to fifteen this past Friday night. And taking a look here, that they uh, they have a pretty balanced attack offensively. Uh, seventeen hundred passing, a little over eighteen hundred rushing. Do you see the same thing? Yeah, they got a very good uh, offense. It's balanced. They have a really good running back. Uh, the quarterback's good, and they have a stable of two or three receivers who are who are, are excellent uh, targets for the queue. Uh, their coaches do a great job of mixing it up. I think their identity is is in running the football first, which most teams are here in Wisconsin. But they also have a, a great complementary pass game and. Uh, it's one of the best pass games and run games we've seen so far this year. Coach, some of the scores that Milwaukee Marquette has, has put up uh, in, include, if you average it out, giving up just a little over eight points a game defensively. So wh- how do you attack their defense with your offense? What do you think? Well, I think uh, we are a pretty uh, old school team in the fact that we like to establish a line of scrimmage. And no matter the opponent we're playing, we feel like uh, to have a chance to win the football game, we need to establish a line of scrimmage right away, and, and that'll be our, our first effort. Any injuries for the Fond du Lac Cardinals coming into the Milwaukee Marquette game on Friday night, Sam? Nope. Uh, we've been able to uh, maintain healthy the first two rounds of playoffs. We hope to continue to do that throughout the, the course of the playoffs. All right, Sam. Best of luck coming up on Friday night. We'll see you at the field. Okay, go get them. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You bet. That's Sam Pluker, head coach of the Fond du Lac Cardinals. Plenty more of your integrity saw until pregame show continues. That's our Fondy Family Dental Coaches Smile segment today. real cameras. When you can't find answers to your recurring health challenges, it can feel like your health and your future are being held hostage. The Wellness Way is a network of health restoration clinics that think and act differently to solve the health challenges others can't. Here, we disrupt the standard approach to care through a combination of testing, individual plans, and one-on-one guidance, putting your health and your future where they belong, in your own hands. Muthing Industries in Fond du Lac would like to wish our local high school sports teams best of luck this season. Muthing Industries is one of the area's top full-service manufacturers of precision metal stampings, laser cutting, production machining and turning, tool and die manufacturing, and custom metal fabrication products. Muthig Industries in Fond du Lac, where quality is an attitude and producing high-quality parts with on-time delivery is of the highest importance. To find out more, visit MuthigIndustries.com. Muthig Industries, 33 East Larson Drive, Fond du Lac. The Rademan family has been quarrying and producing natural stone products for over 50 years. Hi, I'm Brock Rademan with the Rademan Stone and Landscape Company. As the first member of our fourth generation family owned business, I'm proud to carry on the tradition of providing quality stone products to Fond du Lac and the surrounding areas. Is your driveway in need of repair? Here at Rademan's, our Crest Stone Division provides our customer with stone needed for maintaining your gravel driveway. Our Quarry Stone Division provides landscape stones such as stepping stones and retaining wall stone for your outdoor living area. We also offer natural thin and full veneer stone for interior applications such as fireplaces or outdoor applications to combine with or replace your siding or brick. Whether building or remodeling, veneer stone can add a natural look and feel to your home. Our natural stone is available in many different textures, sizes, colors, and cuts. Stop out at Rademan's and see our indoor-outdoor stone displays or like us on Facebook to see some finished projects. Rademan Stone and Landscape Company, where we have the materials to do the best work on earth. 
Welcome back to Hart Park, it, Park, Park, that is, in Wauwatosa. This is WIAA Division One Level 3 football playoff action between Fond du Lac and Milwaukee Marquette. This is your Integrity Saw and Tool pregame show. Thanks to Integrity Saw and Tool. Again, they sponsor our broadcast here tonight. You heard from Coach Sam Fluker moments ago during our Fondy Family Dental Coaches Smile segment. Fondy Family Dental, Dr. Chad, his team, he'll make you smile before, after, and yes, even during your appointment. It's Fondy Family Dental. Dental. Taking a look at both teams, of course, Fond du Lac comes to us from the Fox Valley Association. They went four and three in conference play, squeaked into the playoffs. They're six and five overall. And from the Greater Metro Conference, Milwaukee Marquette, they finished at six and one. Their only loss of the season in conference play came to Sussex Hamilton, a team that beat Fond du Lac way back when in August at Cardinal Stadium National Exchange Bank Field. And uh, Fondy remembers that game, of course. But Hamilton, 11-0. They're playing tonight in Division One. They take on Verona. And, of course, Marquette battles Fond du Lac. Marquette is 9-2 on the season. Of course, Fond du Lac led by Connor Claprick. 13 out of 19 last week. 86 yards, a touch, and a pick. Tanner Dolsky, 18 carries, a buck 36 last week. He had three touchdowns. And so far, Dolsky, 168 yards on the ground in the playoffs and four touchdowns. Clap 15 carries for 81 yards, couple of rushing touchdowns for the Cardinal quarterback again last week. Connor Claprick, 90 out of 167. He's got 14 touchdowns and 10 interceptions, but he's also the leading rusher for the Fond du Lac Cardinals with 156 attempts. Attempts. He's got over 1,000 rushing yards. He's got 14 touches. He averages about 99 yards on the ground Per game, So he's a dual threat. We know that for the Fond du Lac quarterback. And Tanner Dolsky carrying the load in the backfield for the Fond du Lac Cardinals. He comes in, uh, of course, averaging on the season over 112 rushing yards. He's got 13 touchdowns, and he had a, a, a small village of those last week in the win over De Pere. So who is Milwaukee Marquette? Well, they're a team that has destroyed teams throughout the season not just during the playoffs, outscoring their opponents by a margin of 91 to 21, but, 22 that is, but they beat West Dallas Central 70 to nothing, Brookfield Central 47 to nothing, Brookfield East 49 to nothing, Menominee Falls 35 nothing, one at Germantown 39 nothing, a, a, a head spinner was a home game, or a road game that is, at Catholic Memorial, beat them 35 to nothing. So yeah, this Milwaukee Marquette team is for real. They can play good defense, a team that averages giving up just 8.4 points a game. Peter McDevitt is the quarterback for uh, Milwaukee Marquette. He's got over 1,500 passing yards, 13 uh, uh, throwing touchdowns. Tommy Novotny is the rusher, uh, leading a rusher for Milwaukee Marquette. He comes in with 172 carries for over 1,200 rushing yards. He's got 23 touchdowns on the season. And Novotny is a guy that uh, hopefully will not give Fond du Lac fits, but Novotny is third in the conference with regards to rushing uh, the football at 120 a game. He averages seven a pop. Speaking of third of the conference, that's what quarterback McDevitt is in throwing with 139 a game, 8.2 attempts, uh, 8.2 yards per attempt. Who does he throw it to? Russell is their leading receiver. Number three in the conference at 55 passing yards per game. All right, plenty more of the Integrity Saw and Tool pregame show, your international paper Keys to today's game on the way in just a couple of moments on Radio Plus Video Sports. For over 100 years, the name coal is synonymous with quality fuels, lubricants, and propane. That's because coal is the area's trusted source for farm, construction, and trucking companies as they partner with these companies to help them achieve their unique goals. The team at Coal Oil and Propane is dedicated to serving you. They pride themselves on a customer-first approach and work hard to make sure you're satisfied. You can rely on coal for prompt delivery, competitive prices, and quality service. Learn more at coaloilandpropane.com. Here at Pizza Ranch, we believe in happy accidents. Like in 1964, when a Buffalo, New York restaurant owner accidentally bought chicken wings instead of chicken necks. 
The 60s were a crazy time. Well, decades later, and the mistake-turned masterpiece is now at Pizza Ranch. Introducing our new traditional and boneless chicken wings, tossed in our signature sauces. Two more ways to get the country's best chicken available for carryout and delivery. Maybe it wasn't an accident after all. Just delicious fate. Pizza Ranch. Mmm, mmm. Winfield Homes is a locally owned custom home building company of over 25 years that prides itself on great service, high quality, and providing the best building experience possible. Owners Jim Boudry and Jason Zellner are there for you every step of the way to ensure that your new home is built just the way you've dreamed it to be. With the same passion that they have for their clients' homes, Jim and Jason are proud supporters of and are personally involved in youth sports programs and are truly committed to their success. Winfield Homes wishes you all the best of luck this season. Did you know that 70% of Americans have less than $1,000 in their savings account? That might not sound like a big deal until you have a major medical incident. Many insurance plans can require you to pay almost $9,000 out of pocket, making it nearly impossible to cover that expense. But this doesn't have to be your situation. Introducing MetaLead by Evolution Benefits Association. A MetaLead membership is a safety net of benefits that helps protect your family, your home, and your lifestyle when unexpected expenses occur. MetaLead helps you pay those bills by giving every member access to a choice of benefits, including $10,000 of accident coverage, accidental death and dismemberment, life insurance, and critical illness coverage, and $300 per week disability income. Imagine the peace of mind you'll have knowing that your financial future is more secure so you could focus on your recovery. That's MetaLead. Join Ahern and build a better future. Ahern is a mechanical fire protection and fabrication contractor that's been doing business in the community for over 143 years. They're now hiring and typically recruit over 180 positions across the company. Trades, apprenticeships, office professionals, internships, and more. Log on AhernCareers.com to learn about the company and the positions they're looking to fill. Build a better future for yourself and your community. Go Cardinals! From Ahern. Sargento has definitely given me some opportunities. I am able to live in a beautiful place like this, able to pursue all my passions and hobbies. They want us to have a good quality of life. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, come on, Tommy. Come on, come on. Well, come on. Come on. Yeah, good boy, come here. Come on. Jackson, are you going to come over here? Welcome back into your Integrity Sawn Tool pregame show on Radio Plus Video Sports. We'll take another brief break for the national anthem. We're back to this game after this. Add some shine to how you holiday this season in a new Ford or Ford Blue Advantage used vehicle. Get in on enticing offers, get more for your trade, and enjoy Team Holiday's genuine award-winning guest care. We earn the trust of drivers from all over Wisconsin by following through and going the extra mile. I know from my own experience, Holiday is there for you. You can count on it. Find yours and discover the difference at Holiday Ford Fond du Lac. It's worth the trip. Stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was to Hey! 
beautiful rendition of the National Anthem. Let's take a quick break, and we're coming back to Hart Park after this on Radio Plus Video Sports. Integrity Saw and Tool is a proud sponsor of Fond du Lac Area Sports. They wish the best of luck to all local teams this fall and winter. Integrity prides itself on being the fastest producer of high-quality cutting tools and providing the most reliable sharpening service in the industry. If you're looking for a challenging career with excellent benefits and a family atmosphere, contact the team at IntegritySaw.com. That's IntegritySaw.com. Welcome back in to your Integrity Saw and Tool pregame show as we wrap up tonight's uh, pregame show. Reminder that International Paper presents our keys to today's game. Apply today at jobs.internationalpaper.com. I think a big key is going to be containing Novotny. You're not going to stop him. He's going to get his. He had 36 carries last week in their win. So you're just going to have to contain him, bottle him up, and that's where the offensive line or defensive line is going to have to really key on their gaps and make sure things are taken care of up front. Also a big key in tonight's game is is going to be the passing attack. Now if you key on one you got to remember to, to, to take a look at Peter McDivitt and that starts up front too in putting pressure putting pressure on that quarterback position Cam Russell the leading receiver the secondary is going to be challenged with him as well. Those are your keys to tonight's game presented by International Paper. Apply today at jobs.internationalpaper.com Fond du Lac Cardinals won the toss. They defer to the second half. Kelvin Mellon, Mullins is going to kick things away for the Fond du Lac Cardinals. Back deep to receive is going to be Murphy Monreal and also number seven, Tommy Novotny. And there's a short squib kick and loose's ball is loose. And Fond du Lac almost got on top of that thing, and that's going to be down by Murphy Monreal. And, Kerry, if we could bring up the Fond du Lac starting uh, defense. Here. So again, the Fond du Lac starting defense. They are led by the senior captains. There's a look at Fondi's starting defense up front, running those three linemen up front, then running of the linebackers. Got four linebackers, got four in the secondary as well. That's a look at Fondi's starting defense, which is presented and sponsored by Sargento Cheese. So we have first and 10, and there's a handoff to Novotny. He's going to reach to the 30, 35, 40-yard line to midfield, and there's a big burst of action by Novotny right away for the, for the Hilltoppers of Marquette. They're going to go up to the line from the 26-yard line, and they bring it to the 49-yard line, so there's a gain of 23 yards by Novotny right away. They give it to him again. Fondi wasn't fooled this time. Bottled up in the backfield. Hanrahan was back there along with Clapp to make a stop. And it's going to bring up second down and 11 after a loss of one. This is a guy, Novotny, again for Milwaukee Marquette, a, a player that's third in the Greater Metro Conference in rushing. 120 a game, seven a pop when he does touch it. And there's the play action. Here goes McDermott reaching to the left-hand side. Rushes on. Fondy rips him down. And there's a loss on the play in the backfield. Several players. Clapp was back there. Hanrahan was back there as well. And loss on the play. Good pressure up front along that right side of the defensive line. Loss of a couple on McDevitt. And McDevitt works from the shotgun formation. Devitt. Stares down the Fond du Lac defense in motion comes Novotny. They look downfield, steps up, rainbows near side. That's incomplete. That was intended for Marquette's number 88, which is the tight end that popped out. That's Jude Bollinger. And Bollinger, the junior tight end, can't haul it in and looks like the Hilltoppers are going to be forced to punt. He had a step on his defender. He, he, he was open, however, just fell incomplete. A little overshot there, and it brings up fourth down, fourth and 13 spotted at the 46 yard line. So we see the Fond du Lac Cardinals. Dolsky back deep to receive the kick and back deep to receive the punt. The punter is number 18, and that's Eric Schmidt. So after a big time burst by Novotny on first and 10 on a gain of 23 and the next three plays go for naught. Takes a Marquette bounce, a deep bounce for Marquette. It's still rolling. It's inside the 10. It's down at the 5. And Milwaukee Marquette 
punts it, but it's down at the five-yard line. And Marquette defensively, pretty good field position. I'd like to thank a lot of our great sponsors. Tonight's game presented in part by your four Fond du Lac Edward Jones financial advisors. Matt Moses, Jeff Wills, Robert Bruce, Patrick Ellisted. Edward Jones is making sense of investing. Also brought to you in part by Will Sport, that sports lighting and control systems made in Fond du Lac. To get started with upgrading your outdoor or indoor sports venue, visit willbrands.com. In moments, we'll bring up the Fond du Lac starting offense. Again, after this play, if we could have that ready carry, we'll bring that up for our viewers to check out the Fond du Lac starting offense. And they're going to split clap in the backfield. Uh, now the snap was directly to Dolsky. And Dolsky is going to get stacked up and driven backwards. Again, this is a team in Milwaukee Marquette that just gives up about eight and a half a game. Let's bring up the Fond du Lac starting offense if we could so we can see that on our screen. As you see Fredrickson, Vokes, Campos, Schmidt, Kotke, Mengel, K uh, Kohler, Dolsky, Mullins, Johnson, Clapp. It's the Fond du Lac starting offense here. First and... 10 goes for a couple and Fond du Lac now brings it up to the 7 yard line and there is another snap, another run for Fond du Lac deep in their own territory for Dolsky again and that one looked like almost the same play and that one will skirt ahead for a couple, maybe 3 yards, 3rd down and 5, again we had 940 left to play in the first quarter, no score on your Quest Interiors scoreboard your Bauer chiropractic injury report got pain see Shane for the Fond du Lac Cardinals the one notable injury is Holden Krieger who's been out for quite some time again he is uh, out of the line a play action for Clapp looking downfield for Connor Clapp recoverage and that is incomplete that was great coverage downfield he threw into double coverage Patrick O'Brien was in the secondary to break it up Clapp threw down to Mullins double cover double wides for safeties to, to, to swat it away and knock it away and Fond du Lac, they are going to be forced to punt in moments here. Again, it's no score on your Quest Interiors scoreboard. Back deep to receive the kick is going to be, I think, uh, Marquette's number 21. That's Monreal again. And punting from his own end zone, dangerous here, is Fond du Lac. And first step is getting that snap clean. And artificial turf here at Hart Park. Snap is clean, and that's a kick. And that's going to be a nice kick for Fond du Lac. It takes a deep Fond du Lac bounce to back up. Monreal, Monreal's going to field it at the 25 to the 30-yard line. 35, cutting up to the 40-yard line. Now he's up to midfield into Fond du Lac territory. And he spins his way down. He had near side blocking. The punt was on the far side, but he brought it all the way back to the near side and got a... A, a great, decent return from the 25 gets about, what, what do we say, 30 on the return or so? Almost 30 on the return. And with great field position comes Marquette. And they're going to start it again at the 42-yard line. So a 25-plus yard punt will go 27 on the return. Gets great field position. Again is Marquette. In motion comes near side. They play action now. They're going to whip it to his favorite receiver, and that's Russell. Russell trying to get a step on Rocky Duran, and he shoved out of bounds in front of the Fond du Lac bench. But again, Cam Russell gets the connection. Russell is the third leading receiver from the Greater Metro Conference. And that's uh, second down and short as they'll haul it in for eight yards for Cam Russell. Novotny is to the right-hand side, and they play action to him. And they're going to dump it over the side, and that's hauled in again by Russell. And Russell gets a Marquette first down as he gets it to the 30-yard line on a gain of four. Again, Russell with his second reception. This one goes for four. It moves the sticks and moves the chains for Milwaukee Marquette. Clean it up, Blue. Keith Kletzinski is the... the um, Head coach for Marquette. He's in his fourth year. Of course, Sam in his second. Another pass to Russell. And Russell trying to shimmy, shake, and bake up the paint. And he gets uh, a couple. And a clap there to bring him down after about, what do they say, a two-yard gain or so. So this is all going to Russell left and Russell right back and forth. 
the officials for tonight's game. Ron Quirk is the referee. Tom Turkis is the umpire. Kyle Moore, the line judge. Jerry Wood, the head linesman. Jerry or Jim Earhart is the back judge. And those are your officials for tonight. Novotny takes it up the shoot of the Fond du Lac defense. And Novotny got stopped shy and stonewalled in front of the first down marker. Hanrahan was back there. Hunter King was back there. Broomfield there to make a stop as well after a gain of a couple. So Novotny has got a total of 26 so far in the football game. And they're going here. Third down. They're going to pass it to the wide side of the field, near side, and they'll step in front for a first down. That pass was to Peyton Roby Brown. That's his first pass completion to him, I should say. And Roby Brown takes it from the 24 to the 15 after a gain of nine. So the first drive, they kept it on the ground. This one, they're going through the air on this particular Novotny carry. He'll cut it left and now bring it up to the right side. And a bunch of Fond du Lac Cardinals there. Uh, Lavaca brings him down, as does Carson Murphy. After a gain of just one short yard for Novotny. Last time that these two teams met, 2015 at Fruith. Marquette beat Fondy 24-21 in a sloppy night. It's kind of similar to this. A lot of rain at Fruit that night. The pass goes again to Russell. Far side. Shoved him out of bounds. Did Rocky Duran after he picked up. Couple on the play. A nice, nice positive chunk there. The pass goes again to Russell. Russell's got four receptions so far. And it will get to a gain of, what do they say, four. Third down and three. Novotny to the right-hand side. Quarterback for Marquette in McDevitt. Man in motion comes Brent, uh, comes uh, Russell. They play action to Novotny. They're going to chuck it now to Russell. Russell's going to go into the end zone for a Milwaukee Marquette touchdown. Cam Russell takes it in from eight yards away on third and three. They went play action. Defense bit. Russell quick, brought it, cut it up, end zone, touchdown. Eight plays, and that spans only 42 yards because of the nice return by Murphy Monreal. Return of about 28 yards to bring it into Fond du Lac territory, and the offense did the rest. Swing of the right leg, it is up, and it is good. The extra point by Eric Schmidt, the kicker. And we're going to take a timeout back after this on Radio Plus Video Sports. When you can't find answers to your recurring health challenges, it can feel like your health and your future are being held hostage. The Wellness Way is a network of health restoration clinics that think and act differently to solve the health challenges others can't. Here, we disrupt the standard approach to care through a combination of testing, individual plans, and one-on-one -on -one guidance, putting your health and your future where they belong, in your own hands. Eight plays and 42 yards. An eight-yard touchdown catch by number four, Cam Russell, for Marquette. And the Hilltoppers, they draw first blood here in this level three WIAA Division I action. Cam Russell is the leading receiver. That's his eighth receiving touchdown of the season. He averages 15 yards a crack when he does touch it. That one's going to carry him into the end zone. And all that... Mr. Uh, Dalski could do is watch that one go. Tonight's game is presented in part by Capelli Brothers and Dietrich, a rich tradition of quality carpentry, concrete, build and design, masonry, metal buildings, and more. Choose CapelliDietrich.com for your next project. Our proud sponsor of Fond du Lac Sports. It's Capelli Brothers and Dietrich. Well-planned insurance from Kevin Krug and Lakeshore Financial. You can rest easy. Call Kevin Krug from Lakeshore Financial today. Your home and auto are two of the biggest investments that you can make. Give him a call again for more information today. It's Kevin Krug at Lakeshore Financial. Fondy starts with it at their own 20-yard line. Cardinals went three and out on their first offensive possession. There's Tanner Dalski got stacked up and driven backwards. Number 95 for Marquette. Big defensive lineman, Tate Kowalik. 
to make a stop on Fondy's running back after no gain by Dolsky. Dolsky so far three carries, just five yards. Is that right, Cam Cam? Cam Cam is seven yards, all right. He's our statistician tonight. Glad to have you along. Kerry Longry is our video producer. I don't know Cam's last name. We'll just call him Cam Cam because he runs the camera sometimes. In motion goes Fond Lac to the far side of the formation. There goes a pitch. Now handoff to Dolsky. Dolsky going to try the right side. He's got a seam. There goes Tanner spinning his way. Tanner Dolsky takes it across the 40-yard line. Nice run by Tanner Dolsky. That's his longest run of the night so far. And that one rattles for 22. And Fond du Lac will get a, a, a nice, nice opportunity there to get some separation and get out of their deep owned territory front. Up to the 43, we'll credit them with 23 yards. They're gonna run Mullins in the slot and they'll have clap to the wide side of your screen. Hand off again to Dolsky. This time doesn't get much, all but five. Tanner's got five yards on the pickup. We've got Hank DeWild, Aaron Schreiber checking in. Thank you so much. Got uh, Kevin Slaceman into the broadcast here as well. Bunch of people watching. You can check us out online at radioplusinfo.com. Send me an email. It's nick at radioplusinfo.com as well. And design quarterback keeper for Clapp, and he doesn't go anywhere. Maybe a half a yard. Number 92 for Milwaukee Marquette in Cole Fisher. Brings him down there. And also number 32, Bryce Roeder. And maybe a half yard. It's now third down. I'll give him one yard. Third down and four. Comes Fond du Lac back up to the line. They shift the formation to the far side. Ball is at the far hash for the Cardinals. They're going to run Mullins in the slot and hand it off to Dolsky. Tries to tiptoe for a couple, and he does, but that's going to be shy of the first down. Dolsky got a couple short of the mark. We'll see what Fond du Lac does here. They're into Milwaukee Marquette territory on Marquette's side of the 50, and it's fourth down and two. Fondy looks to go. Offense stays on the field. And we'll see what the Fond du Lac Cardinals do here. Already trailing 7-0. Defensive switch by Marquette. Shift into a coverage situation. And they've got a couple of running backs in the backfield. Now they're going to run in the backfield. Uh, they got Dolsky and they got Johnson. And a timeout on the field. Timeout taken by Fond du Lac. We'll take it with them back after this Radio Plus Video Sports. Hi, this is Craig Larson, sales manager with locally owned Dufresne Moving and Storage. As an estimator, moving is very important to me and I take pride in making sure our clients are happy with their overall experience at a reasonable cost and done in a high quality manner. It's all of your goods on the move or in storage and you want it cared for. Whether it's moving their business, building a new home, moving out of state, moving across town, we have a crew that is dedicated on taking care of your stuff. Call me today for an estimate at 1-800-425-MOVE or visit us at DufresneMoving.com. Dufresne Moving and Storage of Fond du Lac. Making your move and storage of goods simple. Guess what? We are hiring at Dufresne Moving and Storage for labor and driving positions. Stop in at 800 Morris Street for an application and interview. Stop now. Fond du Lac Cardinals, I'm not sure if he got it. He's going to be stopped shy of the mark. He stopped shy of the first down marker, and Marquette stops Dolsky. He couldn't get two. He got one, did Tanner. But after Fondy moves the sticks and chains, presented by Anderson Jones Real Estate Company, earlier in this drive, they can't move them again. And here comes a turnover on downs, possession change, and here comes Marquette back on the field, up already 7-0 with under four to play, as you can see on your Quest Interiors scoreboard. Here comes Milwaukee Marquette up to the line here. Fondy with down linemen set to bring some pressure from the shotgun formation with Novotny to the right side. They don't give it to him. He's going to be flushed out of the pocket on the move, and he'll take off with it himself. He's got some legs to do it, shoved out of bounds by Slovaka, and Hanrahan was the first guy to him to apply pressure to get him out of bounds, but he is a durable quarterback, is McDevitt, and Peter McDevitt on the season, the second leading rusher, 
won a game. He's behind Tommy Novotny with that regard. He's got 250 plus rushing yards. Novotny will touch it now and he runs right into Hanrahan and he'll rip him down into Fond du Lac territory. But uh, Hanrahan makes the stop there after he gained three yards. It's going to be third down and six. Big stop coming up here for Fond du Lac with 3.21 left to play here in the opening corner. Novotny to the right-hand side. McDevitt. McDevitt now will motion Novotny to the far or to the near side. He's going to throw, and he's got his receiver. And that's a, a quick little pattern here. Nice little curl pattern. And that's going to be hauled in by number 17, again, for Marquette. And that is Thad Hoffman, and that's Hoffman's first reception of the night and it moves the sticks and moves the chains and he'll rumble ahead for a first down. Novotny will get it now and the handoff. There goes Novotny through the B gap. He'll bounce it to the second wave where he finds Klavaka but that's going to be near another first down as Novotny is going to stick his way for eight on the carry. Check out Novotny's Statistics here, if we could. Novotny has got a total of six carries for 58 yards so far. Thank you, Cam. And there goes Novotny again on cue through the A gap. He's got some real estate off to the races and to the house. And that's a 26 yard scamper, no flags. All yellow pants, no yellow laundry except the pants. And it's 20. A six-yard scamper, it's 13-0. And Novotny is closing in on 90 tonight so far. And he's got one touchdown. And the extra point is up, and it is good. Novotny, Tommy Novotny with his... 24th rushing touchdown of the season. Gives Milwaukee Marquette a 14-0 lead. We're back after this. Radio Plus Video Sports. Planning to build? Whether it's a new home, remodel, or commercial project, you need a committed team that's dedicated to bringing your visions to reality. You need Pino. After all, we've been doing it for over 45 years. To start your next project, go to www.rapinno.com and you'll learn about the Pino difference. Pino, build better for future generations. Back here at Hart Park in Wauwatosa. It's the home of Milwaukee Marquette, a five-play, 52-yard drive, capped off by a Novotny 26-yard plunge to the house, his 24th rushing touchdown of the season. And Novotny has got a total of 84 yards. 64 yards, correction, I'm sorry, 64 yards tonight, and that's going to carry him again into the end zone. Reminds us that high school sports is presented by Badger Soft Water and Fond du Lac, your first water treatment provider in the Fond du Lac area, beginning their services back in 1945, providing you with your commercial or residential water treatment needs. Good luck, Springs and Fondy, on your playoff run for from Badger Soft Water. Call 921-2670. Again, 921-2670 for Badger Soft Water. If you're Fond du Lac in this situation here, you, you don't want to panic. You just want to continue to to play your game. But there is a, a little sense of urgency here. Again, it's just the first quarter. You don't. Uh, what you need here is a long drive. You need some points. I don't want to let this thing get out of hand. A couple of uh, back split. And Dalski goes down, and Dalski is slow to get up. He'll pop up now, and he's going to come off to the sidelines, and Dalski's going to take a breather, and he landed. He's favoring that right knee is Dalski, and Dalski went down to the turf again. Again, not good for Fond du Lac. Dalski is favoring that right knee injury timeout. Let's take it with the teams back after this Radio Plus Video Sports. 
Team on top of the game for screen printing, custom awards, signage, and embroidery is Hoppers. Hopper Silk Screen and All Star Trophy, located in the heart of Fond du Lac, can custom print to one shirt or a thousand. Pick from Under Armour, Gildan, Nike, and more. Choose your school for a custom one of a kind look. Need banners, signage, or a vehicle wrap? The team at Hoppers does it all. Hoppers Silk Screen and All Star Trophy at the corner of Main and Merrill, Fond du Lac. Get more now at Hopperware.com. That's Hopperware.com. I will say this. Welcome back, by the way. Dalski went off, not with a lot of help, but he's getting looked at under the training tent right now. So, again, Dalski out for this particular play. Hanrahan, I'm sorry, um, Henschel is in for the Fond du Lac Cardinals. Play action. Here comes Clapp. He's going to roll down the field for Mullins. Incomplete. There's a flag. That's going to fly. Flag is going to be shot at number 24, Patrick O'Brien, who was tied up with Mullins in front of the Fond du Lac bench, and that's going to draw some some laundry by the official, by the far side judge, and looks to be in the area of PI against Milwaukee Marquette, and those are going to be a first down, so Fondi will take that any way they can. My wife watching by herself. All right. No kids. No kids for her tonight. And Henry's got a sleepover. Lily's probably getting ready for her gymnastics meet tomorrow, right? Henschel will get a play fake from Clapp, and Connor will take it for a couple. So Connor keeps himself for the Fond du Lac Cardinals. Under 90 seconds left to play here in the opening quarter. And we have... A 14-0 lead for Milwaukee Marquette on your Quest Interior scoreboard. So Clapp gets three, second down, and seven. James Woodruff, Madison Steffen, Logan Tappa, Monterius Jenkins, Sarah Mietzel. Hey, Sarah. Checking into the broadcast. A, a bunch of people watching here online tonight. Here comes a pass for Fond du Lac. There goes Clapp down the field, and that's going to be... Incomplete, another flag is going to fly, and this is going to go again against Michael Monreal. And Monreal got tied up with uh, with Connor Johnson. So Johnson gets some contact drawn from him. Mullins did a couple plays earlier. And they're going to put it down the field now. And that's going to draw the chorus of boos as we are broadcasting right in front of Milwaukee Marquette. There was a lot of contact there. There was a lot of contact there. I will say that. Not being a homer, just saying that there was there was some contact there. But uh, pass interference, a couple of pass interference penalties. Gives Fond du Lac a new set of sticks into Milwaukee Marquette territory now. And Henschel is still in. Mullins now goes motion. Jet sweep right side for Mullins. Mullins now bangs out of bounds near the Fond du Lac bench. He clears five on that sweep. And Fond du Lac with under a minute to play here in the opening quarter on the move. This is the first time the Cardinals have been into Milwaukee Marquette territory. But they're, they're going to say he stepped out of bounds before five. They'll give him three on the sweep. Again, Milwaukee Marquette scoring on a uh, an eight-play 42-yard drive, a five-play 52-yard drive earlier this quarter. Here goes Connor Klaprick, and Connor will go through the A-gap. There's just nothing there. Fond du Lac is not winning the battle up front, and when Fondy, with the exception of the Dolsky 23-yard scamper, when Fondy keeps it on the ground, there's not a lot there. Not a lot there. Time melting away in the first quarter. Gain of four by Clapp. And we'll bring you some Leb Insurance Group statistics coming up here at the end of the quarter. This might be the final play of the quarter. Third down and three as mist and light rain continues to fall at Hart Park here in Wauwatosa. Motion go the Cardinals to the far side. Connor Clapp will turn, hand the football off to Dalski, who is back in. And Tanner pile driven down near the stick. That's the end of the quarter. And we'll have fourth down when we come back after this. Radio Plus Video Sports Fond du Lac trailing 14-0. Back after this. 
Jerry Ty Roofing would like to thank all of the athletes for their efforts in each competition. Jerry Ty Roofing has been in business for 61 years doing residential and commercial roofing. Give us a call at 922-7246. Good luck, high school athletes. Marco, the name our area trusts for all things related to your tax return. For over 60 years, our community has trusted the Marco Tax Service at 43 East 3rd Street, Fond du Lac. When you hire the attorneys with the Everson Law Office, you're getting more than professional presentation. The attorneys at Everson Law Office are committed to excellence and have been successfully representing their clients since 2005. Practicing business law, estate planning, probate, guardianships, and real estate, they work closely with their clients, providing exceptional legal services that are catered specifically to their needs. Call attorney William Everson at 920-922-7113 or go to everson-law.com. Milwaukee Marquette played with a couple of short fields, 42 yards and 52 yards to come up 14 to nothing. Fond du Lac gets fourth down and one for the Cardinals. Fond du Lac is going to be stonewalled. I don't think he got it. Sam Pluker signaling for a first down on the far side. And Tanner Dalski was the guy that got the football for Fond du Lac. And right now the ball is spotted at the 36-yard line. That's going to be very, very close to a first down. Are they going to measure it? No. A legal shift against Fond du Lac. That'll push it back. Wow. Motion. Penalty against the Cardinals. So it was fourth down and one. Now it's fourth down and six. Fond du Lac going the opposite direction. And uh, is Fondy still going to go here? I think they are. So fourth down and six after the five yard penalty. That's the first penalty of the game against Fond du Lac and Fond du Lac's going to talk about it here we'll talk about it with them during this timeout. back after this Radio Plus Video Sports the Raidman family has been coring and producing natural stone products for over 50 years. Hi, I'm Brock Raidman with the Raidman Stone and Landscape Company. As the first member of our fourth generation family owned business, I'm proud to carry on the tradition of providing quality stone products to Fond du Lac and the surrounding areas. Is your driveway in need of repair? Here at Raidman's, our crust stone division provides our customer with stone needed for maintaining your gravel driveway. Our quarry stone division provides landscape stones such as stepping stones and retaining wall stone for your outdoor living area. Areas. We also offer natural thin and full veneer stone for interior applications such as fireplaces or outdoor applications to combine with or replace your siding or brick. Whether building or remodeling, veneer stone can add a natural look and feel to your home. Our natural stone is available in many different textures, sizes, colors, and cuts. Stop out at Raidemans and see our indoor-outdoor stone displays or like us on Facebook to see some finished projects. Raidemans Stone and Landscape Company, where we have the materials to do the best work on earth. Fourth down and six for Fond du Lac. Here we go. Empty backfield for Clapp. Rush is on, and Clapp is going to get away. There goes Clapp to the 40. Clapp steps out of bounds. It's going to be shy of the stick. They almost had Clapp in the backfield, but he got away on fourth down and six. He's going to gain or four, and Milwaukee Marquette causes a turnover on downs. Thanks to the group at 5G Benefits and Gable Insurance. They're the experts for group benefits, auto and home, individual health, and Medicare. Visit GableINS.com. Call 921-7526. Register for an upcoming webinar November 14th or a seminar at Thelma. It's 5G Benefits and Gable Insurance and Financial. Proudly serving businesses and all families for all of their insurance needs. So back on defense come the Fond du Lac Cardinals. Novotny will take the handoff. Novotny's got a big hole. And Novotny, they got some big boys up front. Does Milwaukee Marquette. Novotny will rumble his way for a nice chunk. And gets about six. Jared Duell checking in. Hey, Jared, good to talk to you again. Justin Johnson checking into the broadcast here tonight. Again, we've got a whole bunch of people watching tonight's action. Thank you so much. Here comes a big play for Milwaukee Marquette. Wow. Big play. Stepped out of bounds. Marquette brings it near side. That's Peyton Roby Brown. Rocky Duran there to knock him out of bounds. 
Bucks after a run which goes from the 46 yard line and that'll be all the way to the what 32 so there's a gain of 14 on the play and that one doesn't get much past that I want to check that last last one there play there 32 yard line ball is spotted right now and Novotny to the right-hand side. Damn it. And a couple of receivers split out. And they're going to roll to the right side. Throw to the right side. That is hauled in. They steps one way. Goes past another defender. Gets past the third. Dives his way to the 10. What a move. The yards after catch by number 14, Peyton, or I'm sorry, 17, Thad Hoffman. Just did a great job. Did Hoffman. And it's first and goal from about the nine yard line. So, wow. So a gain of uh, about 22 on that. And here comes a pass. This near side still on his feet is Marquette's number 20, or number uh, uh, four, I should say, Russell. And pass goes to Russell. That one will get to the doorstep. And second down and goal. Here comes McDevitt. McDevitt now into the end zone for a Marquette touchdown. Peter McDevitt, the senior quarterback, takes it in from a yard away and caps the drive for Marquette. They're up now 20 to nothing on your Quest Interior scoreboard. And Fondy's got some work to do. Wow. Misdirection, a lot of different formation shifts. Ran a reverse earlier on this drive. McDevitt now takes it in, swing of the right leg. It is up and it is good. And it's 20, one to nothing. And we're back after this Radio Plus video sport. We all know the struggle, the ups, the downs, the roundabouts on the journey to losing weight. This is Dr. Randy Blahoviak at New Medical Center, and we understand. We've been there. That's why we're proud to offer you a fresh start with our semaglutide weight loss program. Semaglutide, commercially known as Wigovi, is an FDA-approved medication that mimics a hormone your body naturally produces. It helps to curb your hunger, eliminate cravings, and lets you focus on what truly matters, living your best life. But it's more than just a medication. It's about feeling good inside and out. It's about finding your confidence, your strength, and reclaiming the life you've always dreamed of. We've witnessed remarkable transformations here at New Medical Center. Real people, like you and me, taking control of their health, their happiness, and their future. Take it from me, I lost 40 pounds. That's 20% of my entire body weight in five months with no change in exercise. It was easy. Begin your transformation today. Call New Medical Center at 920-324-9899 or visit us on the web at newmedicalctr.com. That guy's got a leg. Schmidt, number 18, <laughs> banging through his extra points. I think he almost hit the railroad tracks. <laughs> There's a railroad track behind <laughs> the... Uh, Stadium here. Nice field. Hart Park, very accommodating. Are the friendly folks here at Hart Park. Great job communicating with them all week long about our accommodations here, about what we're up to, and video streaming tonight's game. Fondy's got some work to do, though. They'll take over at their own 20 yard line. That drive went six plays, spanned 55 yards on a McDivitt. One yard touchdown run. They continue to stomp here. I think that's shaking our cameras, maybe on your screen. I don't know. I get some shock absorbers. I'm not sure if that's in the budget, but uh, McDivitt with his fifth rushing touchdown of the season. Came moments ago. And now a fumble by Fond du Lac. Got to get back on top of that thing. Just clap. And uh, Fond du Lac is going the opposite way. Just lost a bunch. Michelle Andrews checking in. Jarensky McClinton checking in. Again, Hank DeWild. Always some good comments from him. Fondy loses nine on that exchange. Tonight's game is presented in part by your Edward Jones financial advisors, Matt Moses, Jeff Wills, Robert Bruce, Patrick Ellison, Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Winner of this game takes on the winner, uh, winner of Nina and Kimberly. That's a scoreless game that's in the first half yet. That game is being played at Papermaker Stadium up in Kimberly. Fondy lost to Kimberly and to Nina earlier this year. Grant Dean went off 
on Fond du Lac. Right, left, uh, left side, that is, for Dalski. Fondy only lost to Kimberly by a point. And that game, that game launched Fond du Lac into winning six out of the last seven. And th that was the game right before the Kakana game, right? Dalski got some of that back. Um, Dalski got how many back? We'll go four back. Um, Fondi only lost in conference play by a total of four points to all of their opponents. Losing to Nina, to Kimberly, right? Appleton North was in there. North they lost to by a couple at home. Clap is going to chuck it down the field. That's almost intercepted. That was up in the wind, intended for Johnson, almost picked off by number five, Nick Womack, who dropped into coverage, and that's going to cause fourth down and 15. And fourth and long for Fondi. Again, another punt coming up here for the uh, Fond du Lac Cardinals. This Marquette team is fast, and they're big. And we knew coming in that, that they would pose a challenge defensively because this is a team that gives up only eight and a half a game. And you're thinking, yeah, so? Well, if you look at the greater Metro Conference, flag is going to fly. Marquette plays with some big boys. Sussex Hamilton, a team that Fond du Lac got ran over by earlier this season. 56-28. to 28. Sussex Hamilton, they, they lost by 30 to the team, but only gave up 20 or 50 in the loss, which uh, not that good. But th then they pitched some shutouts. They shut out West Dallas Central, Brookfield Central, West Dallas Hale. They beat Germantown. They shut out Germantown. Did this Marquette team. Better get that thing away. It's a low punt. And that's going to be scooped up by Marquette. And that's going to be number 21, Murphy Monrail. Monrail gets driven back after uh, Henschel makes a hit. All right, let's take a 30-second break. Quick 30. Back after this on Radio Plus Video Sports. Here we go. McDevitt is still on his feet after an empty backfield. He'll rumble for about seven after Fondi, again, forced to punt. And a short punt. And they'll take it to the 29-yard line after McDevitt again goes for seven. Drive started back at the 30 36 yard line or so. McDevitt is going to chuck it to the right side. And that's going to be another pass completion for Thad Hoffman. And Hoffman has got a couple of receptions. I think that's his second reception. That's his third. Okay. First one went for 15. Another one went for 23. And that one goes for eight yards for Hoffman. And new set of sticks, and they're going to bring it to Novotny. Novotny is going to touch his way up into the end zone. Short of the end zone, I should say. But what a run. He leapfrogged a Fond du Lac Cardinal. That was a run. Wow. Maury was the last line of defense, and he takes it to the 10. Wow. Gain of 19, I believe, right? 19 on the uh, on the carry, and Novotny will take it into the end zone for another touchdown. And Fond du Lac is getting blown out tonight. And Novotny will rumble his way, Tommy Novotny, for his 25th rushing touchdown of the season. And Novotny will take it in, and Fond du Lac will go down and 27 nothing Schmidt 
with a leg like a robot. Booms it through. He almost hit a car. Back after this, 30-second break, Radio Plus Video Sports. Here at International Paper, I've gotten much more experience than I have elsewhere. I've seen more in the field than I have anywhere else. I started from the bottom and I've worked my way up. The people's what make it great. Nobody wants to see anybody fail. You want a job to where you can display your skills, they can be valued, you can move forward based off your own ability and your ability to learn more. That's IP. Four plays, 36 yards on the drive, a two yard touchdown run by Novotny. And that's Novotny's second rushing touchdown of the football game. I'm gonna get a number on Novotny. He's got 91, Cam, thank you. 91 for Novotny here tonight. And that'll carry him into the end zone as well. Again, the last time that Fondi played Marquette, it was back in 2015. It was a 24 to 21 win by Marquette. A sloppy game, kind of similar conditions as tonight. This was at Fruit though. I remember I did a Springs game at North Fond du Lac, and then I, I flew over to Fruit to catch the final moments of that game as Greg Stensland, I think, did the play-by-play -play on that one. I get back in 2018. Milwaukee Marquette. Last time in level three was 2019. And they did win a Division I state championship, did Marquette, 2009. Their record in the playoffs, Milwaukee Marquette, 44 and 20. In motion goes Johnson. Johnson just fumbled it. The exchange is not there. The ball is slick. The exchange between Johnson and Clapp just is, is not clean. That's the second time that's happened tonight. Second time in the last two drives. And it, it will force a loss of a couple yards. So, again, uh, drive starting at the 20. He loses three on the exchange. And under six minutes and 20 seconds left to play. Now they'll pitch it for Dalski. Dalski ran into one, got tiptoed and driven backwards. The first guy to him for Marquette was number nine, Josh Knacker. Knacker tripped him up, and everybody else, the blue and gold, went and ripped him down. Knacker, again, first uh, guy to him with under six to play here. Coming up, your Taco Bell trivia. It's part of the Holiday Automotive Highlight Show presented by Holiday Automotive. Worth the trip. We'll recap the scoring for you in case you joined us a little bit late. The Big Hurt checking in. Davey Stafford checking in. And a bunch of people watching tonight's game as well. Clap is going to get driven down. Wow. Fond du Lac just cannot get anything going. It's fourth down. Wow. Fond du Lac is just getting eaten alive up front. And there's a loss of a couple on the play. And it's fourth down and 12. Dalski got back to the original line of scrimmage before... Again, this is, I don't know how many yards Fond du Lac has in the first half. It's not many. They may have more yards on penalties than actually moving the football in a, in a positive manner down the field. And here comes the punt by Fond du Lac. And they got to get this one away. And they do. And catching it is Monrail. Murphy Monrail. He's dangerous. Monrail to the 40. Monrail tip. To the 35, still on his feet is Monrail. They can't get him down. Playing with an extra step tonight to get it to the 32 is Monrail. Wow. And the Fond du Lac Cardinals defensively got to dig down deep here or else this thing could be running clock. In the, in the second half, they're already down by four scores. And thanks to a bunch of our listeners, viewers, checking into the broadcast here. I'm going to keep an eye on the Springs and 
Kiwani score. McDevitt is going to rainbow down post route to the end zone. That is hauled in for a touchdown. Wow, what a catch by Cam Russell. His second tonight. That one bangs for 33, but a flag is down. There's a flag down. He threw into double coverage. What a catch, but this one's coming back. Wow. This one is going to come back. And there's going to be, it looks like, like a hold against Marquette. There, no, it's a legal man downfield. A legal man downfield is the call from the official that will wipe the touchdown away and push it backwards. And up to the line of scrimmage. Here they come. Novotny to the left-hand side of McDevitt. They go motion to the far side of the formation. Fumble on the play. McDevitt, all he could do was jump on it. Hunter King was there to touch him right away. Down him. But it's 28-0 again. Marquette leads. Quest Interior scoreboard. Randolph is leading 7-0 in their game up in Reedsville. So again, we've got a team up there. Got a team here. Got a team for Springs as well and we have a handoff to Novotny. Novotny has got a seam. He rings it down but Hunter King gets some of that back and Holler brings it back too for a gain of 13 yards and right hand side formation. Receivers are both ways. Now they'll bring in motion to Novotny and they'll stop play. I think it was a legal motion against, against Marquette. And a legal motion. They'll fall start against Milwaukee Marquette. They'll move it back five yards. 328 left to play in the half. West Interior scoreboard again reads Marquette 28 and Fond du Lac nothing. Yeah, this team is is really good. We knew they were going to run some motion. We knew they were going to run some uh, some misdirection. They've done all of that and more. They're going to go three receivers on the wide side of your screen. Novotny is split out on the wide side. They're going to run slot to the left-hand side. The bottom receiver is Russell. Watch him. Here's McDevitt calling for it. Shotgun formation. Looking at Russell's way, and now he's going to fire, and that's incomplete. That was intended for Roby Brown. And Roby Brown comes up short, and it's fourth down. He had a little real estate in front of him. But Marquette looks to go here with 3.01 left to play. The rain, the light rain, continues to fall at Hart Park in Tosa. And got McDevitt. McDevitt now calls a snap. He's got it, looks, steps, throws, hauled in Russell. Russell has got a first down, and Fond du Lac gives up a play. Clapp was back there, King was back there, but it didn't matter as they took it all the way to the 20-yard line. Gain of 18, 17, and a 17 on the play. Ledgers are down 17-0. And they are going to pitch it. Roby Brown, Peyton Roby Brown takes it, and he'll cut it up for eight. So the city of Fond du Lac not doing all that well tonight in the playoffs. Again, knew that would be a tough customer tonight and a tough customer for Springs on the road up in Kiwani. Kiwani, a team that was ranked number three in the state, Division Six. Springs number two in the state. In Division Six, that's a battle tonight in Kiwani. This Marquette team, of course, ranked number nine in the state when the regular season ended. Receivers are either way here for Milwaukee Marquette. And we've got uh, Novotny, plate, make to him. He's got Russell. Russell now stacked up. And, and that goes to Russell. And 
There's 152 and counting. Russell's first and goal. That one goes for four yards. To number four for a total of four. And Marquette, McDevitt getting the play. Novotny to the left-hand side of him. And there is McDevitt, takes the snap, throwing fade route to the end zone, touchdown. That's in for a Marquette touchdown. Thad Hoffman on the fade to the far side pylon, and Milwaukee Marquette is up 34-0. Wow. Watching the replay from our video stream. What a catch. Got both feet in. Just nailed it. He went right over the top of the Fond du Lac defender. On the far side. Schmidt to attempt the point after touchdown. Kick is away. It is up and it is good. It is running clock here when we come back. 1.22 left to play in the first uh, half. Back after this, Radio Plus Video Sports. Since the beginning, your curious mind and imagination have guided you, where tools and technology helped you discover the world. At Moraine Park Technical College, you will train on industry-leading machines blended with hands-on learning. World-class instructors will help you shape and design your future in manufacturing. Homegrown, life ready. Moraine Park Technical College. That pass goes for seven yards on the drive. One, two, three, four, five, six plays. And it's 35 to nothing and another touchback. Got six plays, right? Yep. And Fond du Lac down and down big. 45, 49 yards on the drive. He's doing some math here. And a seven yard touchdown by number 17 in Thad Hoffman. And Hoffman did, had a great catch, really did. And Fond du Lac Cardinals will throw it now for Connor Johnson. Johnson now will get pushed out of bounds in front of the Marquette bench. Now, there's a new rule for running clock. If the point difference is 35 or above, again, 35 or above, um, it's running clock. That's the second quarter, the third quarter and the fourth quarter. Throwing it now to Dalski. And Dalski gets a Fond du Lac first down. They move the sticks and chains. Presented by Anderson Jones Real Estate Company. Call them. Then call the movers. Doss goes to Dalski. We've got Clap throwing it now in front of the Marquette bench for Connor Johnson. Johnson will haul it in. The clock continues to run here, and they will stop the clock, which I, I don't understand. In, in the new rule, it's supposed to... Oh, timeout. That's, okay, that's why. All right, we'll go with that. Back after this on Radio Plus Video Sports. Join Ahern and build a better future. Ahern is a mechanical fire protection and fabrication contractor that's been doing business in the community for over 143 years. They're now hiring and typically recruit over 180 positions across the company. Trades, apprenticeships, office professionals, internships, and more. Log on AhernCareers.com to learn about the company and the positions they're looking to fill. Build a better future for yourself and your community. Go Cardinals! From Ahern. All right, it's second down and five. 19.7 seconds left to play in the half. Empty backfield for Clapp. Receivers both ways for the Cardinals. Clapp is going to chuck it downfield for coverage, and that is intercepted after it was tipped. 
It's picked off by number 24, Patrick O'Brien. And O'Brien is going to take it up to the 45-yard line, and that's still on his feet. Now to the other side of the 40-yard line. That's the end of the half. O'Brien picks it off, and that's how uh, the first half will end. My, oh, my. Fond du Lac trailing 35-0 on your Quest Interior scoreboard. Back after this on Radio Plus Video Sports. When you hire the attorneys with the Everson Law Office, you're getting more than professional presentation. The attorneys at Everson Law Office are committed to excellence and have been successfully representing their clients since 2005. Practicing business law, estate planning, probate, guardianships, and real estate, they work closely with their clients providing exceptional legal services that are catered specifically to their needs. Call attorney William Everson at 920-922-7113 or go to everson-law.com. Add some shine to how you holiday this season in a new Ford or Ford Blue Advantage used vehicle. Get in on enticing offers, get more for your trade, and enjoy Team Holiday's genuine award-winning guest care. We earn the trust of drivers from all over Wisconsin by following through and going the extra mile. I know from my own experience, Holiday is there for you. You can count on it. Find yours and discover the difference at Holiday Ford Fond du Lac. It's worth the trip. Real estate is something that we are doing together. We're in it together till the end. Uh, the best achievement that I can have is when the property successfully closes. Probably the most rewarding part of my, my role with Addison Jones and Signature Homes is the ability to take a client from the very beginning stages of building a new home all the way down to the point where we turn the key and move them in and watch their eyes light up as they see the finished product. Buy it, sell it, build it. That's Addison Jones. Dr. Shane Bauer of Bauer Chiropractic for progressive and traditional chiropractic care. If you're in pain, Bauer Chiropractic offers unique ways to provide relief for many types of pain and conditions. New to this area is MLS Class 4 Cold Laser Therapy, which can be very effective with treating many nagging injuries such as plantar fasciitis, tennis elbow, shoulder pain, knee pain, and many others. Pain relief and prevention are two reasons to see Dr. Shane Bauer at 355 North Peters Avenue, Fond du Lac, or log on BauerChiroFDL.com. Welcome back to Hart Park. It's our Quest Interiors scoreboard. The Fond du Lac Cardinals are trailing and trailing big time. 35 to nothing. An eight play, 42 yard drive capped off by an eight yard touchdown catch. Made it seven nothing. That was by uh, number four in Cam Russell. Then a five play, 52 yard drive. A 26 yard run by Novotny. Made it 14 nothing. Then a six play, 55-yard drive, a one-yard touchdown run by McDevitt made it 21-0. A four-play, 36-yard drive, a two-yard touchdown run by Novotny made it 28-0. And then right before the half, a six-play, 49-yard drive, seven-yard touchdown uh, to Hoffman, a nice fade route toward the far side pylon. Got got the football at the highest point possible over the Fond du Lac defender. Made it, again, 35 to nothing. A hundred and four yards rushing. He's the leading rusher is Novotny. 
again for Milwaukee Marquette. Novotny, a player that's such a such a fast player, such a good player, and he averages 120 a game. He's well on his way to that. Again, he's got 107, and he's got a couple of touchdowns, adding to his 23 touchdown uh, performance coming into this game. He's got two touchdowns, again, for 25 on the season. Winner of this game takes on the winner of Nina and Kimberly, and that game is uh, tied at the half, 7 a piece. Thanks to Randall Redman checking out the uh, game here tonight. This this Marquette uh, school is on a run. Their, their football team playing well. Their volleyball team, they're at state. They won last night. Their soccer team, they're at state. They're playing as well this weekend. So uh, a lot happened again for Milwaukee Marquette. Total of 49 yards for the Fond du Lac Cardinals. So far, as we're doing some quick math up here, we'll take a break and we'll come back with more of your Holiday Automotive Highlight Show. It's been all Milwaukee Marquette. Not a lot of highlights for Fond du Lac, but more after this. Integrity Saw and Tool is a proud sponsor of Fond du Lac Area Sports. They wish the best of luck to all local teams this fall and winter. Integrity prides itself on being the fastest producer of high-quality cutting tools and providing the most reliable sharpening service in the industry. If you're looking for a challenging career with excellent benefits and a family atmosphere, contact the team at IntegritySaw.com. That's IntegritySaw.com. Sargento has definitely given me some opportunities. I am able to live in a beautiful place like this, able to pursue all my passions and hobbies. They want us to have a good quality of life. A personal experience with a custom feel. Each home Smith Builders builds is unique. Their design and selections perfectly crafted for you. With access to hundreds of floor plans, they start by getting to know you and your unique needs. Then with budget, layout, and family in mind, Smith Builders design partners will hand select the best options, customizing them to fit your precise needs. The process continues in their showroom and partner galleries, where you're guided through the products and fixtures on display, customizing each selection in your new home. To learn more, visit smithbuildersinc.com or stop by 227 Morris Court. Smith Builders of Fond du Lac. Traditional values, exceptional services. A proud sponsor of local high school sports. Hi, this is Danny and Heather with AirTech Heating. At AirTech, our motto is honesty, integrity, and quality craftsmanship. When it comes to your home, you want the person working on your equipment to be upfront and tell you what you need, but also what you don't need. We deliver whatever it takes service to take care of you. Our technicians are Nate certified, meaning they are the most highly trained in the industry to be servicing your equipment. If you're stuck with a broken furnace or air conditioner, call our team at AirTech Heating at 924-6742. Our guest today is Mr. George Coons, former Green Bay Packer and current member of the Fond du Lac community. And George's wellness journey is a partnership with the team from Into the Woods Wellness. My uh, treatment goes back to my days of playing with the Green Bay Packers when I used to get IV therapy for a different reason. And that basically was when my body was depleted of minerals and I was cramping up, I would get an IV to try to put those minerals back into my body so I could be able to perform on Sunday. A lot of people think that you know, when you get an IV, you're sick for some reason. That's the correlation. And that's just the myth. IV therapy is uh, something preventative, especially if you're working out, if you're doing marathons, even if you're just going to the Y. I, I can tell you this, the food that we're eating now compared to the food that we ate when we was kids, it's more processed now. We don't have the, the minerals and the vitamins uh, that it once did. See more of George's journey at intothewoodsjourney.com backslash George.
Real estate is something that we are doing together. We're in it together till the end. Uh, the best achievement that I can have is when the property successfully closes. Probably the most rewarding part of my, my role with Addison Jones and Signature Homes is the ability to take a client from the very beginning stages of building a new home all the way down to the point where we turn the key and move them in and watch their eyes light up as they see the finished product. Buy it, sell it, build it. That's Addison Jones. Welcome back to Hart Park here. Hart Park, I should say, easy for you to say, at Wauwatosa. It's WIAA Division One Level 3 football action. The Fond du Lac Cardinals are trailing now 35 to nothing. It's been all Milwaukee Marquette scoring on five drives. Milwaukee Marquette unofficially 256 yards. The Fond du Lac Cardinals unofficially just 74 yards on the game here tonight. Milwaukee Marquette, we knew they were balanced, right? And they're about split even running and passing. They can do both with Novotny leading the way with over 100 yards and two touchdowns, now 25 on the season for Milwaukee Marquette. Again, the winner, winner of this game takes on the winner of the Nina and Kimberly game. That's at the half in Kimberly, and that game is tied at seven apiece. Your holiday automotive highlight show continues with our Trivia contest presented by Taco Bell. Your chance to win a value meal from Taco Bell. RPVideosports at gmail.com is the email address. Again, it's RPVideosports at gmail.com. And the question, when is the last time Marquette played Fond du Lac in the WIAA playoffs? What year? We've said it a couple of times tonight, but again, it's your chance to win from Taco Bell, Radio Plus, and Holiday Automotive. The last time these two teams met in the WIAA playoffs. What year is it? Again, our RP Video Sports at gmail.com. We'll send it back up to the broadcast booth. Again, Fond du Lac trailing 35 to nothing on your Quest Interiors scoreboard. Plenty more of the Holiday Automotive Highlight Show next. Stand by. Sargento has definitely given me some opportunities. I am able to live in a beautiful place like this, able to pursue all my passions and hobbies. They want us to have a good quality of life. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, come on, Tommy. Come on. Come on. Well, come on. Come on. Yeah, good boy. Come here. Come on. When you can't find answers to your recurring health challenges, it can feel like your health and your future are being held hostage. The Wellness Way is a network of health restoration clinics that think and act differently to solve the health challenges others can't. Here, we disrupt the standard approach to care through a combination of testing, individual plans, and one-on-one -on -one guidance, putting your health and your future where they belong, in your own hands. Will Sport by Wisconsin Lighting Lab. Sports lighting and control systems made in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Will Sport, a premium sports lighting system, factory direct application and product support along with its full line of complete LED lighting solutions will transform your athletic facility to the next level, create an unforgettable fan and player experience. So get started with upgrading your outdoor or indoor sports venue. Visit willbrands.com. Okay, let's start with some clouds. Some mountains over there. And finally, a river. Hey, Dad, look. Looks like the perfect spot. American Family Insurance is here to protect your family on the road with a travel peace of mind package. American Family Insurance.
Visit Brad Taglo Petra today in Fond du Lac or Ripon. You dream it, we'll fabricate it. At Quest Interiors, we fabricate one-of-a-kind countertops with most installed by next week and completed in just one day. And because we fabricate our countertops in-house, you can buy direct and save money. Visit our showrooms today in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac to start your transformation. Quest Interiors, exceptional style, exceptional savings. Being a smaller organization, I think, gives us such an advantage to be able to adapt to what our customers need, especially at the small business level. They give us feedback on what's important to them and what products and services they need and are important and and they value. And we can make adjustments. We can hear our customers as to what they need and we can make adjustments uh, relatively quickly. I think they see that. They see our flexibility and they understand this is an organization that wants to work with us. They're not just going to do it their way. They're actually listening and, and hearing what we need. And welcome back to Milwaukee Marquette. Well, I should say Hart Park, home of Milwaukee Marquette. We are broadcasting in Wauwatosa here tonight. So glad you're along. Radio Plus Video Sports. The Fond du Lac Cardinals are trailing 35-0. It's been all Milwaukee Marquette, as I talked about, 256 in total yards for them. And a total of 74 now, it could have been more for Marquette because they played a lot with a short field. They, they didn't have a lot of long drives. And, and it could have been more yards, but again, Fond du Lac uh, not, not really having any type of answer for this very, very potent and passing and running and fast misdirection offense that, Mar, uh, that Marquette uh, supplies here tonight. Again, the winner of this game takes on the winner of Nina and Kimberly. That is uh, seven apiece at the half in that regard. Round one, McDevitt, nine out of 16 for 141 yards and a touchdown. And um, Novotny last week, 36 carries, 141, three touchdowns and a receiving touchdown. And for him in the first half, Novotny with uh, a total of 11 carries for 104 yards and uh, a couple of touchdowns. So pretty much on pace with uh, last week. McDevitt for the Marquette uh, Hilltoppers, He's got a total of 10 completions for 90, I'm sorry, 14 completions for a buck 29. And he's got some throwing touchdowns as well again here tonight. All right, a break, and we'll be back in one minute with our second half on Radio Plus Video Sports. Real estate is something that we are doing together. We're in it together till the end, uh, the best achievement that I can have is when the property successfully closes. Probably the most rewarding part of my, my role with Addison Jones and Signature Homes is the ability to take a client from the very beginning stages of building a new home all the way down to the point where we turn the key and move them in and watch their eyes light up as they see the finished product. Buy it, sell it, build it. That's Addison Jones. Hey, I'm Jeff Cornelli. I'm the owner of Tavern on the Avenue. Bob's on the Avenue, Just Love Coffee on the Avenue. Just Love Coffee is a franchise out of Nashville, Tennessee. We uh, actually interviewed 30 different people, and these people are above and beyond better than anybody else. 90% of the money that is made in the coffee shop is donated to charities. There's nothing in Fond du Lac like this business. It's very upscale, it's family oriented. We got kids games, the kids can play their games, the families can come here at birthday parties and uh, have coffee at the same time. Okay, welcome back to uh, Wauwatosa. This is High School Video Sports. Best of luck, Fondi and Springs, in your playoff game today from 5G Benefits and Gable Insurance. They're the experts for group benefits, home and auto, individual health and Medicare. Visit GableINS.com, call 921-7526. Register for a webinar November 14th or a seminar at Thelma. 5G Benefits and Gable Insurance, proudly serving businesses and families for all of their insurance needs. Also brought to you in part by Badgersoft Water in Fond du Lac, your first water treatment provider in the Fond du Lac area. Beginning their services in 1945, providing you with your commercial or residential water treatment needs. Good luck, all teams, on your playoff run from Badger Soft Water. 
Visit BadgerSoftWater.com. Call 921-2670. Thanks to Commonwealth Companies, J.F. Ahern, Capelli Brothers and Dietrich, Lakeshore Financial, Badger Soft Water, Gable Insurance, and 5G Benefits, and more. And for sponsoring the broadcast here tonight. My name is Nick Rush. Kerry Longry is to the left of me. He's our video producer here for the football game tonight. And we have another touchback. That one went uh, almost <laughs> in the uprights. There you go. Randall Redmond checking in. Michael W. checking in as well. Some people asking where it would... Uh, would be and and level four when you get to that level is neutral so some people were saying before the game that it, it doesn't matter who wins here it's probably going to be played at uw oshkosh and that that might be correct because the winner of kimberly and nina will go south because marquette holds on they would uh they, they would advance as well and there's a what a pass pattern. What a pass play. And that's to Tanner Dolsky. And Dolsky will, as Fond du Lac starts at their own 20-yard line, he'll uh, get a please for eight yards and for the Fond du Lac Cardinals. Fondy with a very difficult schedule, of course, to begin the season. Started 0-4, won six out of the last seven games. Designed quarterback keeper for Clapp. And Connor Klaprick is through the A-gap. He'll bounce it for a Fondy first down. They move the sticks and chains. Presented by Anderson Jones Real Estate Company. Call them, and then we invite you to call the movers. Kakana and Kimberly split the Fox Valley Association. And that one goes for a total of six yards on the Clap Keeper. And Clap keeps again. And maybe got a couple on that. Sussex Hamilton beat Marquette earlier this season, so that would drop Marquette to second place in the Greater Metro Conference, which they finished there in that position. Second down and eight. Here comes Tanner Dolsky. He's going east and west instead of north and south and maybe got a yard on that carry. And third down and six. And the clock is going to continue to roll here with a 35-point spread for a deficit for the Fond du Lac Cardinals. RP Video Sports at gmail.com. Looking to pass over the middle. And that is hauled in by the tight end, Max Mengel. Mengel getting a reception for uh, first time tonight. And that's a good pass pattern. And Mengel will take it. 36-yard line into Milwaukee Marquette territory. Gain of 17 on the play. And we've got a run to the right side for Dolsky. And I want to talk a little bit about our Lens Truck Center play of the games, play of the year. You can vote for your favorite Play of the year at RadioPlusInfo.com. We've got about, about 30 to 35 plays up there now at our website, which you can go to and click on uh, the one you like and send me an email. We'll tally up everything toward the end of the season and then award our play of the year. Dolsky will carry him his way for a couple there. Congratulations to Scott and Melissa Roberts. They win our trivia contest 2018. I'm sorry. Uh, Heather Rathman wins, 2015, and that's intercepted, and he's gone. There goes the pick six by O'Brien to the house. And Marquette is now up 41 to nothing, and this is just getting ugly. Intercepted. And that was all the way reading it, jumping the route, and taking it for a pick six to the house. That was a bad interception. And that was a uh, nasty. Nasty score 
41 nothing. He jumped the route, read it the whole way. They wanted just a quick little out pattern to uh, clap in, in, the, in the slot was Mullins. Clap was just to the left-hand side of him. There's going to be unsportsmanlike conduct against Milwaukee Marquette. And Fondi was driving. The snap was at the 41-yard line, and that's going to be a 59-yard pick six. Here comes Schmidt. Look off behind you. There goes the kick. It is up, and it is good. Nice catch back there by that little guy. Take a break, and we're coming back after this Radio Plus Video Sports. Commonwealth Construction Corporation, your trusted partner for any residential and commercial construction needs. From renovations and additions to new builds and remodeling, they've got you covered when it comes to projects of all complexities and sizes. With a dedicated team of professionals and a commitment to excellence, Commonwealth Construction can bring your vision to life with precision and expertise. Commonwealth Construction. Visit CommonwealthCO.net today. That's CommonwealthCO.net. Net. Good luck to all athletes from Commonwealth Construction. So Heather Rathman is our winner. Congratulations there. Emily Warner checking in. James Woodruff. Anna Coons. Coons Den checking in as well here tonight. Got a bunch of people watching tonight's action as well. Fond du Lac beat Sun Prairie East, 11th trip to level three back in 2018. Now, the unsportsmanlike or taunting excessive celebration is enforced. He'll probably still get it to the end zone. Is he? Almost. Got it to the five. <laughs> Just got such a nice leg. Schmidt. Mullins got pile driven down. Wow. And Mullins is slow to get up. He got decked at the 30 yard line. Mullins is down right now. But again, that kickoff was all the way back at the 25, and he still got it to the five. Injury timeout. We'll take a break back after this. Ready to go plus video sports. Add more joy to how you holiday this season in a new vehicle or GM certified pre-owned model. Score enticing offers, get more for your trade, and say yes to award-winning hospitality. We want our guests to feel respected, listened to, and well cared for. Like they made a great choice. The vibe here is a real right. It's relaxed, friendly, and welcoming. I'm Wisconsin running back Braylon Allen, and I drive Holiday. Find yours and discover the difference at Holiday Automotive Fond du Lac. It's worth the trip. Mullins is out on his own accord. He got got hit pretty uh pretty excessively at the 30-yard line after the kick return. But again, a, a great great kick by Schmidt. Rocky Duran unofficially ruled out for the rest of the game with a concussion. Got that when I was down on the field. Fond du Lac lost to Kimberly after they beat him during the regular season. Lost to him last year in level one. Beat Verona in level one, 31-13 the year prior to that. Sun Prairie East lost to them, 35-20 the year prior to that. A nice win against Arrowhead the year prior to that. So Fond du Lac all in all. We'll bring up a Fond du Lac playoff history slide in just a moment here. And we'll have Dolsky. We'll get it for about five. Here comes the Fond du Lac playoff history slide. Again, you take a look at Fond du Lac's 11th trip to level three. This is their 21st appearance in the WIAA playoffs. Their postseason record 32 and 19. Last time they went to Level three, again, was the year 2018. They lost to Kimberly on the doorstep before State. There's Clapp to the left-hand side, got tripped up. He had some real estate, did Connor Klaprick. And Clapp will get about five or six yards. If we could bring up the Milwaukee Marquette slide, a team that averages 
about 40 a game. But here's the part. They only give up defensively. Yeah, look at right there, 8.4 a game. If I could circle that with my pen, I would. But um, this Marquette team defensively, they, they, they don't give up m much, much at all. Dalski, left side, bouncing it out. Dalski ripped down in front of the Fond du Lac bench. And there's a play by Malek Lee. Malik Lee, I should say. They move the sticks and chains. Again, presented by Anderson Jones Real Estate Company. Call them and then call the movers. It's first and 10, 6.35 left to play. Fond du Lac is on the move, knocking on the Marquette doorstep. And Dolsky is going to cut a seam to the left-hand side. There it goes. Uh, Tanner for a run there. or I'm sorry, Clapp kept it. Clapp kept it. And he'll get nine on the play. Rumble for nine yards. We'll take a look at the bracket in just a moment after this play. Second down and one. And there's a direct snap to Dalski. Dalski tries to the left side, now gets stacked up to the right. I think he got the first down. Let's take a peek at the bracket here. Again, here's the Division I bracket on this side of things. You have Fond du Lac and Marquette tonight. And Mar Fond du Lac is a five seed. Marquette is a one. And if you look at the Milwaukee Marshall Co-op, they got throttled 60 to eight by a team Fond du Lac beat last week to Pierre. And here comes Connor Johnson on the end of the round of this, uh, this side. And got it to about the 41 after a gain of two. First time that Johnson has secured the football. They, they, they tried it a couple of times, but to no success after a couple of fumbles on the exchange on that exact play. Fond du Lac's offense. With five minutes left to play here in the quarter. And it's 42-0. It's been all Marquette. This is one of Fond du Lac's longest drives. And they're going to try it to the left-hand side now for Johnson. Johnson picking away at the defense. And he'll scoot it to the left-hand side and get near the first down stick. And first and ten for Fond du Lac. So they move the sticks and chains presented by Anderson Jones. Real Estate Company. Go Johnson for how many on that one? Johnson here. All right. Under 4.15 left on a new set of sticks for the heart of the defense for Fond du Lac. And there's a give there again they give up some real estate coming up Monrail comes up Gimpy Cole Fisher as well was in on the stop after a five yard pickup Fond du Lac posting some momentum here trying to get a drive into the end zone get something going here receivers are both ways and here comes Connor Johnson they fake it to him and give it to Dolsky and Dalski trying to get away from a couple of blue shirts, some navy blues, and they go down. But uh, Dalski getting up now after the carry. But uh, again, thanks to those watching tonight. You can fire me an email. It's nick at radioplusinfo.com or us rpvideosports at gmail.com also. So Fond du Lac back with a third down and four. Probably four down territory for the Cardinals. Snap goes to Clapp. And Clapp now runs right into number 95 for Marquette. Right into the arms of Tate Kowalik. And it's fourth down. And Kowalik drops him. Fourth down and two after a two-yard pickup. Marquette won the championship back in 2009. Their, their one and only championship in Division I. 
Big school, ranked number nine in the state when they ended. Johnson in motion. They're going to flick it to him. Here comes Johnson, and he got cut down, he got cut down, chop or chopped down short of it. And it's going the other way. Johnson, they, they thought they had something on the far side, and one of the defenders just cut it up, cut the angle off, and dropped him for a loss. And Fond du Lac comes up empty on that drive, too. And the clock continues to tick down with a continuous clock here with 145 left to play. Some good games going on tonight. Reedsville and Randolph. Reedsville leads 10-0 in the second half. Reedsville ranked number four in the state. Big battle in eight-man football. Got that game for you on the source, our radio station tonight, as Florence, number four in the state, takes on Oakfield, number five in the state. That's a good one. That's a state semi. The championship is in Wisconsin Rapids next week, Saturday afternoon at 1 o'clock. Hopefully Oakfield will get there, right? Minute to play in the third quarter. I'd like to thank Rightway Home Improvement from doors and gutters, roofs and siding. Visit rightwaybuilt.com. Call 929-8999. That's 929-8999. Thanks to Holiday Automotive. Thanks to Taco Bell. Anderson Jones Real Estate Company. Thanks to Badger Soft Water and Fond du Lac, your first water treatment provider in the Fond du Lac area. In 1945, when they began, badgersoftwater.com, 921-2670. And backup quarterback is in now. Fond du Lac's team making a stop after a short gain. Marquette's number 11, Luke Josetti, is in. So... Mr. McDevitt's day is done. He will gear up for next week's Level 4 state semifinal against either Nina or Kimberly. That'll be the end of the third quarter. So back with a fourth and final quarter after this Radio Plus Video Sports. Since the beginning, your curious mind and imagination have guided you, where tools and technology helped you discover the world. At Moraine Park Technical College, you will train on industry-leading machines blended with hands-on learning. World-class instructors will help you shape and design your future in manufacturing. Homegrown, life ready. Moraine Park Technical College. Thanks to Justin Johnson checking into the broadcast here tonight. Radioplusinfo.com. Nick Rush, Kerry Longry, Big Nate. Got Ron Lindgren uh, there. We got Cam up here with us as well. Got Jimmy Miller. Not sure where Jimmy went. Is he under the bleachers? I don't know where Jimmy is. Is he in the van? I don't know where Jimmy went. Kerry, left hand side. Number 26, Jack Dorley. Now, we haven't talked about him a, a lot. Dorley was in two weeks ago for the injured Novotny. Novotny didn't play in level one of the playoffs. Novotny, 36 carries, buck 41 last week. Okay, Do, uh, Dory. Eight carries, 46 yards, a couple of touchdowns. Played well in the absence of Novotny. Again, uh, two weeks ago in round one of the playoffs. Uh, that was in um, Marquette's win over Sheboygan North, 49-7. Fond du Lac is trying to get something going offensively. Low snap. He gathers for a moment and will boom this one away. And that will back up Dalski. Dalski will feel it at the 10. He'll try to cut it up to the 15 and doesn't get much past that. So the rain continues to fall. Kind of a mist here at Hart Park in Wauwatosa. We rolled in about 4.45 nice and early and got 
got set up, and uh, they were very accommodating here. Opened right up for us, and we uh, got high-speed internet. Got a nice, nice facility. Very accommodating. like to thank them for that. Contacted them all week and back and forth emails and phone calls. And, um, yeah. James Woodruff. Hey, James. Still with us here tonight. Thank you so much. Last time we checked, Springs was down 17 nothing. I don't have an update for you on that score. We will get one, though. Fond du Lac looking to pass. Downfield, overshot. That's intended for Mullins. That's going to be overshot. Fond du Lac seniors, Tanner Dalski, Max Mengel, Rocky Duran, Jacob Haller, McGee, Hanrahan, Rogers, Guzman, who's been injured, Klaprick, Krieger, Gwendarius Jones, Calvin Mullins, Broomfield, Zach Kaler, Tyler Berthman on the line, Fredrickson on the line, Kotke, one of the captains, the line for the Cardinals. We, uh, we bid farewell to those graduating seniors again for the Cardinals playing in their final football game. Again, this, this Fond du Lac team was 0-4. And a lot of people didn't, didn't count them out, but they, they looked and thought, boy, oh boy, you guys got to start getting some things together here. And, and they did. They got back to the playoffs. And the, the Cardinals got back to the WIAA playoffs for the 10th consecutive year. And there's Clapp. He's going to take off with it. Fond du Lac not give it up. And got to the second wave. Did Connor Klaprick. And with 840 and counting. Looks like Fond du Lac moves the six and chains. Again presented by Anderson Jones Real Estate Company. Call them. Then call the movers. Clap for Fond du Lac rushing. Had 49 coming into this second half. Or this, yeah, coming into the second half. Picks up a chunk there. Just under 70 for 75 for him. There goes Mullins to the right side for the Cardinals. And he's going to be stopped shy of the 44. Uh, 41, I should say. So a gain of three from him. Pat McScratchin having a perch fry tonight. Watching the game as well. Thanks, Pat. Thanks for the kind words. Appreciate that. Direct snap will go to the right side for the Fond du Lac Cardinals quarterback. And he'll move the sticks and chains again. A eight-yard chunk for Connor Klaprick. And Klapp's got a total of 72 yards. And I think he's got 16 carries. 16 carries for him tonight. And with 7.15 remaining in this football game. Coming up, your post-game show is presented by Fox Valley Savings Bank. We'll get you up to speed on the final statistics, break down the scoring for you, and more. There goes Dalski out of the Wildcat, right side. And he got a couple. Tonight's game presented in part by, by uh, Capelli Brothers and Dietrich. Rich tradition of quality carpentry, concrete, design, and build. Masonry, metal buildings, and more. Choose CapelliDietrich.com for your next project. A proud sponsor of high school sports. Also special thanks to your Edward Jones financial advisors, Matt Moses, Jeff Wills, Robert Bruce, Patrick Elliston. Edward Jones is making sense of investing. It's Edward Jones in Fond du Lac. Tonight's game presented in part by Kevin Krug and Lakeshore Financial. Rest easy, call Kevin Krug from Lakeshore Financial. And they're going to dump it to the dirt. As the rush was on for Cardinal quarterback clap. And it's third down and six. Again, clock continues to tick down with the point spread, 35 points or more. Again, just a ton of people watching tonight's action. Thank you so much for all of the kind comments, not just tonight, but uh, throughout the entire season. A lot of emails. I think uh, over the past two, three weeks, there goes a run. 
by Dolsky. Fond du Lac's going to try to get off the schneid here. They want to punch one in. Just get something on the scoreboard. But uh, we, we hit over 12,000 views just last week alone. When you combine Fondy, Springs, Mayville, Randolph. A lot of people uh, like watching high school football, like watching high school sports, volleyball as well. And reminder, we'll have the hockey schedule out, the hoop schedule out. There goes Dolsky. He got ripped out of the backfield. He's going to chuck it, and that's incomplete. They're going to say his hand was moving forward, and that's going to be an incomplete pass. Dolsky is trying to get rid of it. And on fourth down, Fond du Lac is just walking off the field right now. And here comes Marquette again. Fond du Lac not in any hurry, neither is Marquette. Tonight's game brought to you by Will Sport, that sports lighting and control system is made in Fond du Lac. Get started with upgrading your outdoor or indoor sports venue. Visit willbrands.com. Again, that's willbrands.com. In the fourth quarter, score remains seven and seven between Mina and Kimberly. Thought I'd just try to get the uh, the in-house microphone going. I got the wireless going, but it's still tied. Kimberly and Nina at seven apiece. That game is in Kimberly tonight at Papermaker Stadium. They have such a great spot in Nina too. I mean, they really do. They, they have a brand new uh, uh, complex, uh, football field, and, and high school. They were welcoming, too. Got, got the big video board thing going there, too. Every Everywhere we went this year was uh, was very, very pleasant. And the handoff is going to number 36. And let's give a name to Liam Manning. Under 3.30 left to play. Officials don't call anything. The... Marquette faithful want a flag after after uh, Rogers extra shove back there coming up your final statistics presented by the Leb Insurance Group Fox Valley Savings Bank post game show spot, uh, follows our broadcast here tonight the shotgun formation and Marquette again Go second down and nine. Hand off again. Fond du Lac sticks him. Quarterback is Mason Steinhoff, the junior. In now. Jones to drop him. Reminder, we'll have the basketball schedule at our website, radioplusinfo.com. Appreciate the kind words, James. I'll be doing some basketball comment, uh, commentary. So it, it's very possible that this game will be at UW Oshkosh. And just a jaunt up 41, Interstate 41 for Marquette. And a jaunt down for Nina or Kimberly, who's ever is going to be advancing from that game. That pass goes incomplete over the top there. 42 nothing. Fond du Lac was a winner last week. Or 42-21, I should say. A winner last week over De Pere. And Fond du, Lac, Fond du Lac gives up 42 tonight. Fond du Lac beat Milwaukee Pulaski Co-op on the road. 49-0 in round one. And again, Fond du Lac is... Going to drop one here tonight with under 90 seconds left to play. They're set to punt it. And Dolsky is back deep to receive the kick. And the punt gets into the hands of number 93, who's not on the roster. But there's a flag. That's going to fly. And we've got a minute left to play. And Marquette is going to move on in the WIAA playoffs. Marquette's going to score a 42 to nothing win over Fond du Lac. And it's been all Marquette 
throughout the entire game. Marquette jumped up early, often, and they never looked back. And that's going to be it. Fond du Lac with a magical season. 0-4 they started, winning six out of the last seven. During that span, they, they got in their final game. They got into the dance. And Fond du Lac is going to run one last play for Claprick. Claprick, the senior. And his final play is going to go up to the 40. And that's it. 42 nothing. Marquette wins. We'll take a break. Your Fox Valley Savings Bank postgame show is coming up next on Radio Plus Video Sports. Well, the youth sports, right? We support youth sports in all of our communities, sponsoring teams, booster clubs, and then really supporting the schools uh, with some PTO activities where we'll donate to the PTOs as they need. We help sponsor uh, a new playground for one of the schools in, in Fond du Lac. There's different things that we've done. And, and I, look, I, I look forward to our ability as we grow to be able to increase uh, that exposure and that opportunity for us to give back to the communities. Scotty's Auto Works, for affordable auto care from tires and alignments to routine auto maintenance. Trust the guys at Scotty's Auto Works, next to Pump and Pantry Fond du Lac. Sargento has definitely given me some opportunities. I am able to live in a beautiful place like this, able to pursue all my passions and hobbies. They want us to have a good quality of life. Are you or a loved one living with the discomfort and hopelessness of peripheral neuropathy? The tingling, the numbness, the life-altering pain? Are you tired of taking medications that only mask the symptoms or don't work at all? You don't have to live like that anymore. Introducing New Medical Center, your beacon of hope in the fight against peripheral neuropathy. Our team of dedicated specialists uses the latest advancement in medical technology to help you regain control of your life. Our personalized treatment plans are designed to reduce your pain, improve your balance, and restore your quality of life all while targeting the cause of your neuropathy. We believe in a holistic approach, combining cutting-edge therapies and lifestyle changes that can slow down, stop, or even reverse the progression of your disease to help you live your life to the fullest. Don't let peripheral neuropathy hold you back. Take the first step towards a pain-free life. Call New Medical Center today at 920-324-9899 or visit us on the web at newmedicalctr.com. That's New Medical Center, 920-324-9899 because you deserve to live without pain. Hi, this is Craig Larson, sales manager with locally owned Dufresne Moving and Storage. As an estimator, moving is very important to me and I take pride in making sure our clients are happy with their overall experience at a reasonable cost and done in a high quality manner. It's all of your goods on the move or in storage and you want it cared for. Whether it's moving their business, building a new home, moving out of state, moving across town. We have a crew that is dedicated on taking care of your stuff. Call me today for an estimate at 1-800-425-MOVE or visit us at DufresneMoving.com. Dufresne Moving and Storage of Fond du Lac. Making your move and storage of goods simple. Guess what? We are hiring at Dufresne Moving and Storage for labor and driving positions. Stop in at 800 Morris Street for an application and interview. Stop now. Are you unsure of what career path you want to take? Musa Sheet Metal is looking for motivated individuals to join their highly regarded apprenticeship program. Throughout the program, you'll learn the skills to be able to run your own job site. A career at Musa Sheet Metal is a chance to join a driven team working together to design and build products to help build communities. Learn more at musasheetmetal.com. That's musasheetmetal.com. Build products that build communities. Apply at musasheetmetal.com. 
Join Ahern and build a better future. Ahern is a mechanical fire protection and fabrication contractor that's been doing business in the community for over 143 years. They're now hiring and typically recruit over 180 positions across the company. Trades, apprenticeships, office professionals, internships, and more. Log on AhernCareers.com to learn about the company and the positions they're looking to fill. Build a better future for yourself and your community. Go Cardinals! From Ahern. Did you know that 70% of Americans have less than $1,000 in their savings account? That might not sound like a big deal until you have a major medical incident. Many insurance plans can require you to pay almost $9,000 out of pocket, making it nearly impossible to cover that expense. But this doesn't have to be your situation. Introducing MedElite by Evolution Benefits Association. A MedElite membership is a safety net of benefits that helps protect your family, your home, and your lifestyle when unexpected expenses occur. MedElite helps you pay those bills by giving every member access to a choice of benefits, including $10,000 of accident coverage, accidental death and dismemberment, life insurance, and critical illness coverage, and $300 per week disability income. Imagine the peace of mind you'll have knowing that your financial future is more secure so you could focus on your recovery. That's MedElite. Welcome back into your Fox Valley Savings Bank post game show. I'm just going to step over on this side as if you're looking for a loan with no hassle, it's Fox Valley Savings Bank. Milwaukee Marquette gets a win tonight, a final score of 42 0 on your Quest Interiors scoreboard. This is, again, your Fox Valley Savings Bank post game show. Let's recap the scoring presented by the Leb Insurance Group. An eight play, 42 yard drive capped off by. An 8-yard touchdown catch made it 7-0. Then a 5-play 52-yard drive, a 26-yard run by Novotny made it 14-0. Then a 6-play 55-yard drive capped off by a 1-yard touchdown run by uh, McDivitt made it 21-0. Then a 4-play 36-yard drive, a 2-yard touchdown run by Novotny made it 28-0. Then a 6-play 49-yard drive, a 7-yard touchdown run by uh, Hoffman made it, or seven-yard touchdown catch, I should say, made it 35-0. Then a 56-yard pick six to the house. 59-yard uh, pick six that is minute 52 or 42 to nothing. That's a look at your scoring recap again from the Leb Insurance Group. A final break, and we're coming back to Hart Park after this. At our store, it's about the people, and it's about the experience you have from the minute you walk through our doors. It's about serving you and listening to what you came in for. It's having real conversations with people in our community, and it's giving back. It's been a one-stop shop for all your electronic, appliance, and home furniture needs. Since 1922, we've been sharing our knowledge and providing pieces that make your life just a little bit better. Silica for your home. Today's game is brought to you by Edward Jones and these area Edward Jones financial advisors. Robert Bruce, located at 976 East Johnson Street. Patrick Ellistad, located at 560 Fond du Lac Avenue. Matt Moses, located at 68 North Main Street. And Jeff Wills, located at 649 Fond du Lac Avenue. Good luck to all athletes in today's game. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Muthing Industries in Fond du Lac would like to wish our local high school sports teams best of luck this season. Muthing Industries is one of the area's top full-service manufacturers of precision metal stampings, laser cutting, production machining and turning, tool and die manufacturing, and custom metal fabrication products. Muthig Industries in Fond du Lac, where quality is an attitude and producing high-quality parts with on-time delivery is of the highest importance. To find out more, visit MuthingIndustries.com. Muthing Industries, 33 East Larson Drive, Fond du Lac. Will Sport by Wisconsin Lighting Lab. Sports lighting and control systems made in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Will Sport, a premium sports lighting system. 
factory direct application and product support along with its full line of complete LED lighting solutions will transform your athletic facility to the next level, create an unforgettable fan and player experience. To get started with upgrading your outdoor or indoor sports venue, visit willbrands.com. It's that time of year to look out for the deer. A meeting with one of our furry friends could cost you a lot of dough. If you're involved in a deer dent, ding, or disaster, dial Dreyer Collision Concepts. North Main Street next to Grime Gorilla Car Wash. Mobile estimating, vehicle restoration, auto collision repair, custom painting, and yes, free estimates. 924-4100. Drive safe from Dreyer Collision Concepts. Gas prices, home expenses, education, will those costs always go up? Probably. At Winnebago Lutheran Academy, we can help you with one of them. We are a part of the Wisconsin Parental Choice Program, a program which enables qualifying families to receive a quality Christian education at no cost. That's right, zero tuition if you qualify. To learn more, visit WLAVikings.org. Living it for four years, loving it forever. A personal experience with a custom feel. Each home Smith Builders builds is unique. Their design and selections perfectly crafted for you. With access to hundreds of floor plans, they start by getting to know you and your unique needs. Then with budget, layout, and family in mind, Smith Builders design partners will hand select the best options, customizing them to fit your precise needs process continues in their showroom and partner galleries where you're guided through the products and fixtures on display customizing each selection in your new home to learn more visit smithbuildersinc.com or stop by 227 morris court smith builders of fond du lac traditional values exceptional services a proud sponsor of local high school sports Welcome back into your Fox Valley Savings Bank post game show. Fonda Lake Falls, forty-two to nothing. Hopefully, as we close our broadcast here tonight, we'll have an opportunity to just get a couple of comments from Coach Sam Pluker, as as we've done uh, throughout the entire season. Our Marion University turning point of the game. Log on MarionUniversity.edu to get started today. Our turning point of the game really was the aerial attack and the ground attack from Milwaukee Marquette that the fact that Fond du Lac really couldn't find an answer for those both keys up front Fond du Lac just uh, di didn't have it up front uh, on the offensive or defensive lines to, to, to make something happen to score some points on the board and your turning point of the game the the offensive and defensive lines again for Milwaukee Marquette did a great job here tonight our player of the game, log on BurkeCareers.com. That's BurkeCareers.com. It'll be Novotny for the Mar uh, for the Marquette Hilltoppers. He finished with well over 150 yards tonight and a couple of touchdowns. He's our player of the game here tonight. Again, our Web Insurance Group final statistics, your Med Elite partner. Med Elite part membership is a safety net that protects your home, family, and lifestyle. Learn more with the Web Insurance Group. We know that Novotny had well over 150 yards, a couple of touchdowns here tonight, and they were very, very balanced. Marquette was in running and passing, and in that second half, they really didn't have to do either of anything as they have uh, just a 35-plus point lead again at the half. The only scoring in the second half was that pick six, that 59-yard pick six to the house that uh, the defender jumped the route here and moved uh, toward the uh, toward the end zone. AirTech presents our next game broadcast. A reminder, check our video streaming website out, radioplusinfo.com, for the next AirTech heating broadcast. We'll take one final break, and we're coming back to Hart Park after this. Sargento has definitely given me some opportunities. I am able to live in a beautiful place like this, able to pursue all my passions and hobbies. They want us to have a good quality of life.
Are you or a loved one living with the discomfort and hopelessness of peripheral neuropathy? The tingling, the numbness, the life-altering pain? Are you tired of taking medications that only mask the symptoms or don't work at all? You don't have to live like that anymore. Introducing New Medical Center, your beacon of hope in the fight against peripheral neuropathy. Our team of dedicated specialists uses the latest advancement in medical technology to help you regain control of your life. Our personalized treatment plans are designed to reduce your pain, improve your balance, and restore your quality of life all while targeting the cause of your neuropathy. We believe in a holistic approach, combining cutting-edge therapies and lifestyle changes that can slow down, stop, or even reverse the progression of your disease to help you live your life to the fullest. Don't let peripheral neuropathy hold you back. Take the first step towards a pain-free life. Call New Medical Center today at 920-324-9899 or visit us on the web at newmedicalctr.com. That's New Medical Center, 920-324-9899 because you deserve to live without pain. Fond du Lac season comes to an end tonight, a 42 nothing decision over Milwaukee Marquette. Sam Pooker, Sam, thanks for the time here. Just uh, what you, what'd you say to the boys after after the game? I just said I was really proud of them. Um, the senior class has been special. They, <laughs> they believed in everything that we said. It's, you know, it sucks. It's really sad just to see the, the emotions that they go through. They put so much into this. I don't, I don't think the average person understands the commitment that these kids put into it year-round. Um, but I'm just so thankful. <laughs> I'm so blessed. You know, I, Every night I thank God for this opportunity to coach this team. It's just a, a unique group of individuals. Um, we have kids from all different kinds of backgrounds, and they all come together for one common cause. And you know, we, we just have such a unique group of individuals, and they all love and care about each other. And, you know, in this day and age, I think that's something that's truly special and should be honored. It's, it's it's a bond, and they're not looking at the screens. They're not, you know, doing that type of thing. They're out here competing, playing football, and building camaraderie and friendships that last forever. Yeah, yeah it's, and that's you know that's what I try to tell them. I said this this game stinks, but in ten years from now, when you come back to a game or you bring your family to a game and you see your your buddy, you're not going to say, hey, remember that Marquette game? You're going to talk about the good times and the, the locker room and the weightlifting and and the wins. And I think that. You know, in the moment, probably at 16, 17, 18 years old, it's hard to realize that. But, you know, as I get older, I understand that, you know, it's a game. The sun comes up tomorrow and, you know, we do everything we can to compete. But what matters is the relationships that they built and the journey they took. And, you know, this team definitely took a unique journey that that I don't think they'll forget. Say I'm 0-4 to start. We've talked about this so many times, losses to a conference rival that they have in in, in Sussex Hamilton and lose to Franklin and lose to Appleton North and lose to Kimberly. And the wheels are kind of falling, but we're we're getting a little bit back and then you rattle six out of seven off. Yeah, Yeah, I'm I'm just, it's, it's, it's the kids, you know. At the end, you know, I... I hope the young guys were watching because this, the senior group just willed it. You know, they came to practice week five like we were four and zero. They really did, and you know that's a mindset that a coach can't really install. It's just it's just the players, and they're great. Like I said, it's a great group of kids. You know, and they all were friends. It didn't matter if they lived next to each other, whatever. They all they were all what middle school they went to. There was no click, so it was just sixteen or or fifteen or sixteen guys who were who were all best friends, and you know, and they believed in themselves, and they accomplished what I believe to be a, a pretty dang good season. Well, it was for, for Fond du Lac. You broke in the brand new stadium, broke in the brand new field, fun to play at, exciting atmosphere to play at, get a home playoff game there. That was special. That was fun. So hope to build on that momentum going into next season. Thanks for all the interviews and, and the coverage here. And we, we certainly had a fun ride with you guys. Well, thank you for covering. I appreciate it. I've heard nothing but good things. Yeah. A lot of people watching, so okay. that's good. I think we hit records tonight, too, on this dreary night and road game, hour plus, but safe travels, buddy, okay? Thank you. You too. I appreciate it. That's Sam Pooker. He's the head coach of the Fond du Lac Cardinals. We'll get him out on that. We would like to thank our video stream team that made the trip down here. We had five total uh, folks helping us out. Kerry Longry is our video producer. Ron Lindgren, our chief camera operator. Got Big Nate running one of the cameras. Jimmy Miller running another camera. Cam Cam. His real name is Cameron, but we call him Cam Cam. Uh, our statistician here tonight, Nick Rush, saying so long from Heart Park in Wauwatosa as the Fond du Lac Cardinals, they fall and they end their season in level three of the WIAA playoffs, a final score of 42 to nothing. Thanks to all of you for watching. Nick Rush saying so long and have a great weekend. Edward Jones Representatives in Fond du Lac, Integrity Saw and Tool, Bauer Chiropractic, Fondi Family Dental, Baker Cheese. Right Way Home Improvement. 
Quest Interiors, Addison Jones Real Estate, Holiday Automotive, Taco Bell, Bristol Morgan Bank, Coal Oil and Propane, Pioneer Pit Stop, Marco Tax Service, Pizza Ranch, The National Exchange Bank and Trust, Marine Park Technical College, Silica for your home. Raderman Stone and Landscape. Dufresne Moving and Storage. Winfield Homes. Everson Law Office. Bob's Pizza. AirTech. Winnebago Lutheran Academy. Musa Sheet Metal. Scotty's Auto Works. St. Mary Springs Academy. Camera Casino. Fond du Lac Credit Union. Hopper's Silk Screen and All Star Trophy. New Medical Center. Muthig Industries. Pino Construction. Lens Truck Center. Fox Valley Savings. American Family Insurance Agent Brad Taglia Petra. BCI Burke. Marion University. Into the Woods Wellness, Smith Builders. Today's game is also presented by International Paper and Will Sport. Lighting and control systems made in Fond du Lac. Let's go live to the Radio Plus Sports broadcast booth.